Hey, screeners, how you doing? It's me, the one AJ, Anthony Jordan. And me, Nicole Leroux. We're not alone today. Who else we got in the house? Me, Lena Tech, back again. Big Zone, happy to be here. It's been a while, fellas. It has been. It has been. But you know what? With the release of Deadpool and Wolverine, we're talking buddies, so we thought we'd release a buddy movie topic. And that's why we're here. So we thought we'd bring our buddies along. So thank you for joining us, guys. Let's not waste any time, and let's get the ball rolling. As is the custom, we allow our guests to go first and announce um, their top ten first. So your bottom three, guys. Go for it. So yeah, clearly let us go first so we can jump on and take our list. But, you know, we're going to start off because, you know, me and Big Tone love movies like this. Talking about how I come on, I know Good you classic. could put so much movies on there, but you know we have to go for that that black movie classic. <laughs> it's if you haven't seen it, it's um two hood guys getting into Harvard and just hijinks um occur from there, and it's so funny. It's Red and Meth who made albums and all that, but on the big screen <laughs> and doing their thing. I I, I flipping loved it, and then some. Um, Tone, I know we've got to jump too quickly, but what do you think? Oh, man, like, again, like I said, it's a certified hood classic, isn't it? Yeah. Um, and especially around the time when Def Jam was popping, this two, this, this film came out with these two individuals and it came at the right time. I mean, it, it centers around a buddy, their friend, like, uh, <laughs> being dead, deceased, and they're literally smoking him in some weed. And, and like, they're able to advance their life because of that. It's a great, like, funny film. Don't take it seriously at all. But there's so many funny moments, man. It's a great film to, like, you know, sm- um, well, let's say it does have a nice little intoxication to it. It's, it's a weird movie. Have um, any of y'all seen it before we jump to the number nine? AJ? I have seen How High. I actually saw it in the cinema, I believe. Um, I was I was kind of guessed about the whole situation because sorry, what's happened there? Yeah, I was kind of excited because like it was red and meth, as you said, Big Tone, at the time of their popularity. And I was like really excited for it. Felt kind of disappointed. It was a bit more stupid than I anticipated. The concept <laughs> was kind of crazy, but um, yeah. It's good to see Red and Meth do their thing, but I prefer to keep it to the music. Like, no disrespect. I, I just did. Well, right. mind you, Meth's doing quite good in power. But, um, yeah, the film the, f- the film did not do it for me, sadly. But, yeah. It's I, all I'll good. <laughs> that was go number on. 10, and we went very long on number 10. <laughs> but number nine, I want to let Big Tom start this one. You know what movie you're going to do. Yeah. Go so, at number nine um, is The Other Guys. I absolutely love this film. Like, it is... Like the, the quintessential parody <laughs> of a puddy <laughs> cop film. <laughs> you know, like, you know what? The one part of that film alone, yeah, like it has to like be aim on for the bushes. List. And that's yes, aim for the bushes <laughs> with the rock and Samuel Jackson just like feeding themselves a little bit too much, gassed up on their own height, jumping. And you think, oh, they're gonna make it next minute, it cuts to a funeral scene. I laugh for days. <laughs> So funny, yo, yeah, and right. you know what? I know you hate Dwayne right now. You should put that on repeat, man, because you can see him. You know, it's sport. not Dwayne that's the problem, bro. You know, <laughs> Dwayne's not the problem with this. Don't even play dumb. You know who the problem is. Oh, 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 I forgot, man. All oh, your favorite <laughs> guys in there, <laughs> yo, yo, man. Yeah. It's double the fun, double the fun for the Which... silver screen. Movies. You guys should go watch that film on repeat today. One sec. Yeah, I want to jump in here quickly because I know we were going to get the doubles, the double <clears throat> because of this guy, but you don't understand. He is really good in this and he's with... So, um, always, um, it's really funny. <laughs> it's Mark really it funny. Up, <laughs> yeah, I would love for them not to get... Actually, I would love to do a reaction. I really like, do a reaction video watching this and we just record you like, watching this and do a watch along with this and see what the... Would the, be the most screen. boring reaction video ever because you would the, get crickets. They will try everything not to laugh. I will see them laughing. I will prove that later on. No, I've seen it. I didn't laugh. Oh, wow. Anyway, in that case, let's move on to number 
I, I actually, Jeez. I actually stopped at Dwayne and Samuel L. Jackson. After that, I, I, I gave it like 10, 15 minutes after. And Thank you. I've not finished it. I've not he finished knows. it. He knows. Wow. Well, we know when you when you dislike someone. Goddamn. Isn't it? Anyway, he was, with you, <laughs> I know. He was good in, in the now, office. <laughs> anyway, this, we move on. Especially when he got to... carried out on an ambulance. <laughs> let's move oh, on to a buddy Powell's movie well. oh we're not yeah. going to all right cool again let's, let's talk of... <laughs> huh? oh y'all done praising your your your, your star i should have put <laughs> oh i want to move with him and the bond the real bond the only bond there is the blonde bond anyway <laughs> <laughs> don't you together and let y'all just watch it just do <laughs> <laughs> like in Clockwork anyway, Orange, put the freaking yeah, but yeah, yeah, love it, love it. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all coming out make quote in the film, but anyway, let's move on from that. We've been talking about two people, two people. Buddies don't have to be with two, buddies can be a group. Yes, right. And in this one, we're the three best friends that anyone could have. <laughs> well done, well done. <laughs> the the Hanover. Oh my god, well what a movie! Great, what pick. a movie! Like. I can't go into it more. This made my love of Vegas even more. Yeah. Mike Tyson, the tiger, all these individual scenes. Um, it's just so many little individual scenes. That's amazing. But overall, just what a movie. Like a movie I, I didn't even think of at first. Big Tone was the one that came up with it to let me know. So Big Tone, jump it's in a there. Great job. Great yeah, job. Like, look, you say the part with the tiger. I say the part with the taser, man. That kills me, like, you know, <laughs> the little boy, I like you, but this little boy just looks psychotic. It's tasted all the time. And then, like, you know, when he was assisting it, he got tasted again for his trouble. Like, there's so <laughs> many funny parts to that film, man. This is a great munchies, sit down, have a drink, have a smoke, have a laugh. Yeah, like, movie with your friends. The ultimately. baby. Yo, the baby in the shirt. <laughs> You know, I have done that to my, to my son. I'm not even gonna lie. Hundred <laughs> have done that to my son. Literally, had to. he's just like he's, he's in. He's like two months old, so he's literally just discovered his hands. So he's doing a lot of this at the moment, like not booby, but like literally, he's curling up his hands into a ball. Like that, it happens at that age anyway. Um, and I literally had him like sitting here the other day, and I said, "Hey, Anya, look." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, she, was, and she wasn't as amused as I was. <laughs> She's like, what are you doing? And once again, one of my um movie crushes was in this movie. Um, it was her baby. <laughs> yeah, she oh, just... Heather Graham. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's just wow. So yeah, great movie. Have and... you seen Boogie Nights? Of course I have. Roll it, roll it, girl. There you go. There you go. <laughs> anyway, that's our um um ten to eight. Let y'all give us yours then. Hey, Jay, great shout, by the way, guys. Absolute great shout on that one. Yeah. I actually am peed that we forgot that one. If I'm honest, yeah. I'd <laughs> actually one. go as far as to say hangovers in the conversation for one of the top ten comedies of all time. Woo, that might be on the so that might be a rush more then. Mm. It, but we don't it, know it, yet. It, no, it, I, I would listen to that. So, yeah, it, it, it's, it's worthy. Okay, so when we're talking buddy movies, normally we've always gone down the buddy cop route. This but this cop franchise did not actually have... A, it's not a buddy cop movie, but he had his buddy in this. So we are talking John McClane pairing up with none other yeah, than... Yeah, what's wrong with you? Punch! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 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 Punch! Oh, oh, dare you. Punch! Thank you guys for recognising it. Yeah, big up, big that's that that's one. a special one for the silver screen dudes. That one that seems to have been in season one, yeah. pre season one, it's season one of season one. If that may, if you know what I mean, AJ, like this movie got brought up yeah. all the time. <laughs> uh, all right, my number nine, then reflecting <laughs> on what you said, of sorry, our number nine, reflecting <laughs> so that <laughs> delete, de delete, 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 delete. Die Hard with Avengers had to be deleted because it was just such. A... Oh, well done. Sorry. Do you remember we had the delete episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one yeah, is yeah, off yeah. the list. Jeez, that's yeah, going yeah, back yeah. a while now. Yeah. Damn. 
What episode uh, was that? Let's find out. Everyone, you know what? Watch all the shows and tell us what it episode, episode that was. It was episode 50 of C. It was episode 50. That was that yeah, was what we were doing. Yeah. It was, but it's the first. It, this was pod only. There's no visuals to it, so you'd have to go. And yeah, yeah, yeah. To find that. Uh, yeah. Right, anime. It's on one of the right. many other platforms you can find a on. Screen it's on. <laughs> no puns. Look, I'm gonna have a lot um, of free time soon. I'm gonna animate these lots pod episode with no videos. Just have them two sitting together on time. <laughs> anyway. Oh, like Pop Kitchen. I'd take that. I'd actually pay you good money for that. Um, right. Building on what you said, then, for buddies doesn't have to be two people. I've not gone one, two, three. I've gone seven. <laughs> seven, seven samurai. Ooh, nice. You had to do this one. Now, look, Ooh. this is a classic. Specifically, who I'm going for here are the two main leads, uh, Toshiro Mifune playing uh, uh, Kukuchio and uh, the leader of the samurai playing Yambe. Those two have the best chemistry in the movie, but this is an ensemble buddy movie. It's a story that has been copied by Hollywood at every turn imaginable. This movie has had two Western remakes. <laughs> Literally two remakes have happened for this movie. There are TV episodes that borrow from this. Freaking episode whatever of The Mandalorian in season one, where they're defending mm -hmm. that village from the ATST. I'm like, well, that's Kurosawa right <laughs> there, isn't it? Like, Tremors. I've made this comment before. Tremors is seven samurai with worms. Tell me I'm wrong. Ooh, it is, ooh, please. It is, I would like a breakdown of that, but not right now. Well, <laughs> I think you're, you're welcome to it. <laughs> you're welcome to it. People defending. Oh, I'm a big fan of Tremors. You're not a yeah. big fan of Tremors. No, I'm I'm a, a big fan of oh, Tremors. Good, 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 good. Think about it. They're defending their town from the invading force. The invading force just happens to be big worms. It's seven Ooh. samurai, bro. They happen to be what? See, big worm. <laughs> big worm. worm. <laughs> <But we're not laughs> we got a tangent coming. <laughs> we do, but continue. No, go on now. I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm not gonna. If we I'm are gonna, gonna do ruin it, it right. straight off with our number eight, featuring the man Big Worm. It's what you what you do when you got no job. You gonna get high. We talking. No, you know you're gonna get punched. <laughs> That's what you're gonna get. You're gonna get punched. <laughs> 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 to be honest, on my oh, list, my. it was a lot lower. But Big Tone taught me up and I brought it up into a higher bracket. I do agree, but yeah, it was a little lower on my list. And it's not because of the, just like for me, just we, there were so many good buddy movies that. Yeah, there are. That's true. It's, it wouldn't have, 100%. But that's the only reason for that. But yeah, wait, did we just shut them down with a quick two punts? Bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> right, in that case, mm, 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 it's Big Tone. Yeah, it should be you going for this one. I know what it is. Do you know? What it, remember what it was? Yeah. Let's switch. Cool. All right. So at number yeah. seven, we've got Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That's a great shout. That yeah. Is a Again, like you know, big shout. The the buddies don't even have to be like all human. Yeah, we've got more <laughs> animation in this, and, and you know what? There is actually one quintessential part of this film that embodies, like you know, there's a crossover of worlds between buddies. Yeah. That bit where they're falling from the sky, Bob Hoskins is falling from the sky, and who Mickey should appear and, next to him? Mickey and Bugs. Mickey and Bugs Bunny. And of course, you know, that's your Mario Sonic, man. That That's like like your quintessential pairing, isn't it? Yeah. And to see them Can two we... do that gag, and that was actually a it's funny gag as well. And also, then, like, the piano know, thing, yes, Daffy her. and Donald. Like, oh, yeah. That, yeah, how could I forget that? Yeah, there's a lot of um, buddy, buddy things here. But it's also great to see how the dynamics, how he went from hating Roger to the end, like smooching him in the face, man. You know, mm -hmm. it's the classic, you know, I hate you, buddy. And they'll, they'll be like, you know, buddy up. And then we love each other at the end story. You know, the, uh, the so Disney I'm gonna and Warner Brothers. Question. Sorry, go on. No, no, go for it, go for it, go for it. Isn't talking I was about Disney say Warner Brothers that, that, fight. Yeah, the, the <laughs> Disney Warner Brothers fight about they they were making sure that they got equal amount of lines yeah, in the movie. Yeah, yeah. And Disney Bugs, screwed them. Actually, yeah, Disney. That's it. Mickey. <laughs> Mickey got one more line. Yeah, oh, yes. at the end. Yeah. Just at the end. Just look it in. <laughs> Just, Just at how the Disney end. play. Just how Disney play. Oh, you gotta get him, bro. What are you gonna say? Uh, um, once upon a time, the Silver Screen dudes had a conversation over the very first big screen crush. And oh, we Jessica didn't say Rabbit. what it was. Come on. That was it. You asked me who was the first awakening as, as a kid. And I was like, oh, let me think. And I went, Jessica Rabbit. And he went, exactly. 
I just want to ask you guys, was that also the case for you two? No, cool world, man. Uh, cool world, that's a good shout. But no, no, no. <laughs> Yo. Um, Roger Rabbit uh, came a lot, a lot before Cool World, though. Yeah, Roger came before Cool, but I wasn't really, I wasn't a anime guy. So for me, what it was like, cool world? I have not seen Cool oh, World. Watch that. You two will both actually enjoy that film. You know, what like, it's this? like pretty much think of us all again, who Roger from Roger Rabbit, Rabbit but, but a bit more adult. But yeah, <laughs> it looks it. <laughs> Brad Pitt's in it, but I've never heard of it. I've not heard of it. Well, what is you this? Are welcome. You are welcome. <laughs> Sorry, not that I. I always look. I always live by. I don't go huh? by the. I don't go by the, the critic rating, but I do sometimes pay attention. Four percent on RT. Yeah, that's worth <laughs> listening uh, to. That's worth listening to. Four percent. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, that got that's so dirty. Bomb. I mean, is it a good film or is that it just for an awakening? Bombed. That's what I need to know. That's what it's, I'm asking. It's an okay film. It's not the film to go and watch. It's a film in the case of like, you know, you usually have films and they come out you're like this one, you think of this one, this like, fit, uh, what's it called again? Bugs Life, Ants, stuff like that. It was Ants even better. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's like that, is that way, um, that's the way I think about it. Um, the story in Cool World is less cartoony, but. Hey, I'm a Ufer Roger Rabbit. I want on, on this one, I'm a Ufer Roger Rabbit guy. Even but IMDB me, slammed this movie. Oh, everyone will slam the movie, but once again, it's up to you to like it or not. You can't. Oh no, hundred percent, hundred percent. Look, edutainment. We've hey, been you watch ten minutes of a movie with a guy you don't like. Give this one ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I enjoy Mega Mind. I, I can I can actually give. Of that course guy you do, because that's a brilliant fun. movie. Of course it is. <laughs> I'm just saying. I can give just because you couldn't see him, so you liked it. It's <laughs> 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 when the movie when the movie finished, you were like, "Oh God damn it, that, he was in it." I know, exactly. When the credits rolled, like it was him. I hated it. I hate it now. <laughs> that worked for me. Nick couldn't unhear the voice. He was like, "I can't do the film," so I don't know. <laughs> oh, wow. You know, you know what, Dan? Yeah. We should get them a T-shirt, man, saying "Unlimited Pharaoh." <laughs> <laughs> with, him, with, with him doing his, the hand the and lightning. Got lightning coming him out there. Doing the him doing the lightning. <laughs> Let me see if I can design that on Photoshop quickly while the stream is going on. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Who, who, so, who's taking the number six? Is it Big Tone or Dan? No, it's no, me. It's uh, so yeah. Cool. So yeah. Um, yeah. Number six is the part from earlier. Well, not that early, but you know, we gotta say Friday. Come on, man! <laughs> and you know this. <laughs> the director's cut. Um, it's one of those movies where a lot of people at that time watched, got, and it was one of those ones that people start talking about it a lot more. I found out later that telling someone about it after the fact, after that buzz is gone, they don't get the same feeling that we had. Like it's a slow movie. Yes, I get that. It's a slow movie, but because I loved it so much back then, I can watch that movie and quote word for word what happened. And me being a big fan of it, and it's just a um, to be honest, it's not even a a black thing when it comes to like a black movie. It's a <laughs> no, no, because you know people say no, no, it's not because you know you got them hood movies. It's not a hood movie. It's a comedy movie with black people in it because I know a lot of my friends. Um, love that movie, but it's because they watched it the same time as we did when it was talked about in school quite a bit and recommend it to people now like, um, number one Nico, wasn't a big fan watching it um, nowadays recommend it to other people that watch it now nah, this is not our type of movie it's just like, it's like trying to show someone the Matrix in, not, I know it's a big jump but you know, like trying to show someone the Matrix and they go oh, they're doing that thing that they did in Shrek that type yeah. of thing, <laughs> so, right? <laughs> there's that type of thing right now. But for for us that watch it when it came out, that's a special place in our hearts. And yeah. Friday will forever be Friday, man. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, exactly, like, man. Um, you know what? I seen this um thing on social media the other day with the New Line Cinema logo. You know, with the black and it's um yeah, voting yeah, against yeah. the purple. And they said, "What film represents that for you?" And for me, it's definitely. 
I know you don't smoke weed. I know this, but it's Friday. <laughs> you ain't got no job. Yeah, you ain't right, got man. to do. Yeah. This film is my childhood. I love it so much. I laugh every time it comes on. Like, um, I very much agree with the criticism that it probably was um, a product of its era, a product of its time. And again, you know, uh, you had to be of a more of a sort of persuasion to actually maybe enjoy some of the stuff in there because it was quite tailor made that right? you might not know what they're talking about. Yeah. But ultimately, man, that film, for me personally, will always remain one of my favorites. But again, we're talking about Buddy, isn't it? So the Buddy aspect of this is Smokey, yeah, and Ice Cube, yeah, Craig. Craig. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's get his name right. <laughs> and like, how many times have you had this, isn't it? Everyone can be a Smokey and Craig, isn't it? Yeah. Like you two, like AJ <laughs> and like, you know, Nico, you, you are Smokey and Craig in your own right. Yeah. Wait, which Everyone one am I? has that type of You're um, smoky, bro. Buddy where you just hang out all day. <laughs> And chill. I don't you're the one, you're the one trying to get a, you're the one trying to get AJ into trouble. <laughs> AJ, I know you don't smoke weed. I know you don't. <laughs> <laughs> What's fucked up is you're completely right. <laughs> <laughs> so AJ's crazy. <laughs> AJ's the one trying to go to work, trying to be the responsible one. And Nico is the responsible one, but he's the one going, man, I got two kids at home. I got a wife, but let's like go out. Let's do this, man. <laughs> let's get high today. Uh, I've got a really harsh joke. I'm not going to say it. Uh, <laughs> oh, but yeah. Like, oh, hey, that, that is the biggest line. Like, when it's like, yeah. But yeah, y'all picked this as well. It was on your list. I'm going to go to the one that I thought Brooke picked it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe it was on his list. I don't know. He, he, look, so to be honest, there's other films on my list that it he was. shut down. This one he approved, so I don't know if it was gonna be on there. He knew but, his look, Friday, um <laughs> it's, it's, it's weird fact. to say it's not a hood movie. What's that? I said fact. Like I said, he knew his audience. audience. He knew all fact. three of us would be your fans. <laughs> but he went, oh, let's fact. just put it on there. Yeah, come on, fact. man. Fact. <laughs> <people."> um, look, <laughs> look. To be oh no, you, you didn't have it. It was on my memory. I'll, I'll mention it after because there's another group. Um, it's funny that you say that Friday is not a hood movie yet. Would class how high as a hood movie? Because I saw this as more hood than, especially budget wise, this would be more hood than how high. But how high is what I would have also said would have been my first hood movie. It was just it was just so mad and such a mad experience to embrace. And it's just sitting back and just seeing like the characters from it and as he's the two polarizing characters and how good they are as friends zeus is the ultimate bully the dad ah uh, was just humor beyond belief at that point <laughs> but also you know dropping knowledge it it was just a great movie and it's just you're watching this and the more you watch it what makes it mad is when you think of it this was just one day this was just this one friday yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, this is one <laughs> but it, yeah, it, it's one of those things. I think in 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 its in its time, nothing happens. Why it. is it mad? <laughs> like I'm sorry. Okay, let me jump back on this now. Yeah. <laughs> Please, cool. So what happened is a is people living in Compton, and in Compton, you either join a gang, you sell drugs, you rob, or you try to live the straight. This guy's got a family with his wife. Um, with his two, his dad and um, mom's there, and his sister. He had a proper life. He lost his job, stupid, whatever it is, and he had a friend that slowly corrupt him to do the wrong thing. This good guy that lives with his family becoming slowly doing everything wrong, and how one little thing can just roll over to another thing and another thing that shows you just you're with your friends, and you know your people said you're you're who you're with. So you're with your friend. I can't remember the saying when it comes like that. But he hangs out with Smokey, who is got a, is a single house, sells weed. The worst, the, the person shouldn't be hanging out with. This guy smoked off all of this guy's weed and blamed him and his friend and got almost got him killed. And he went to all that things. And literally, it's a day in the life of someone living in Compton that's trying to be a good guy, but then getting wrapped up in stupid shit that he has nothing to do with. That's all it is. And if you can, if you've experienced going out with a friend and then that one idiot friend that go, who are you looking at? I want to start a fight with everyone. And then when they want to start a fight, that means you're in a fight. It's that type of thing. Nico, so, yeah, let me ask you a question. That's what I see from you. Mm. Did you, do you like uh, Napoleon Dynamite? 
Not really, no. Why? Okay, because I was going to say it's the same type of sequence where all through there's not like one cohesive, like clear point story. There's actually many different like subplots and skits and everything. It's no, a bit I'm like one that. Of those but guys who didn't care for Napoleon. But you're like, you're like, well, that's probably why you didn't like this film then, is it? Because no. again, it's one of these things where it's about the parts of the movie rather than the overarching story itself. You don't go into that for the grand storytelling of this. You go in that to hear the one-liners. The one-liners that you even grew to like yourself, isn't it? Yeah. Because they just catch Oh, you. no, I don't like them. Again, I know my audience. No, stop quoting them. Uh, they <laughs> <quoting them. laughs> yeah, only to be used like, if they are appreciated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but no, like, look. The stuff like with um, even Seuss, in it? Yeah. Debo, the big bully. That is the quintessential movie bully. Yeah, and that's one of the things you will take away from the film. You won't take away why he's doing it or the intricacies of why he does what he does. It's just him, the scenes that he was in, the guy where he punched he's the a- guy seven feet in the air, and he <laughs> said, you got that, that, you know, it's classic moments. He's a bully in his own neighborhood. If, he le- if Debo leaves his neighborhood, he's going to be getting bullied. So he's only the big guy in his own little block. And you know everyone's got that air, that guy in the area yeah, that you that's think why they showed he could handle himself outside of. The no, episode. no, he can't. He got beat up by Craig. He can't. <laughs> right, Craig so it. it's a case of people were just scared of him because he's the big guy. The second he got knocked out, no one was scared of him anymore. R.I.P. Tiny. You see part two. Yeah, and so many yeah. people in this movie. Tyler, listen. What's his name again? Was in this as well from the Green Mile. Mackay Pfeiffer. No, no. The big, his name. Michael Clark Duncan. Yeah. Michael oh, Clark Duncan. Sorry, I, thought, I had fucking Green Mile and I thought my mind went to eight miles. You went eight miles. Let's think we all look the same. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, not the same film. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Not the same film. Weird because so, yeah. one of them is my favorite film, so that's bad. <laughs> all right, Ooh. so move on with our number five. Right. Unless anyone that wants to say. Oh, no, 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 no. We've done it. It's, it's, it's meant to be. Seven and six, and then them not go over there. Seven and six as well. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that was your seven and six. Okay, over to us. Um, to me, I saw this film after like my whole Buffy and Angel phase. So I saw just nothing but Spike mm-hmm. and Angel here. I was like, so that's what influenced them. I am talking about Tom Cruise, Brad Pitt, interview with the vampire. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, Nick was the one who put me onto this film, and I got to be honest, I love it. I, I, I was actually PO mm-hmm. that I did not see this film. Are they friends? Yes, yes. Are they in a lot together? I think. Uh, I mean, listen. I think they're in. I think they're in. No, that's the thing. Lestat doesn't get killed quickly. The, these two are very much inseparable. Lestat gets killed about halfway through. Um, you know, Kirsten Dunst is the one that kills him. Yeah. Not. Not. Uh, yeah, not but... Louis. See, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do you lot now. Um, as a buddy movie, I see as a um, just it wasn't for me a buddy movie. These two at all, not not because they were on the screen together. It was like, yes, he turned to a vampire because I sat one in the company, and they were together for a little bit for a little while. And after a while, he was gone, and he was no not longer a part of the story to the end. The con- not a buddy movie in, in the conventional sense, but definitely that, that not. Is what I'm- that's what that's I. That's what's kind with. of interesting about it. There was there was this this bond that was there that as much as a codependency, dare I say, yeah. It, it, yeah. in it that one was still adapting to the life but not comfortable with it, but they still paired and lived the life together, and it just stuck to me. No, it's not best friends. It's not besties, and hey, mm. let's do this and what have you. But it, again, you mix Kirsten Dunst into it, and I, I had an argument with Nick about one film that we removed. It became a family in itself with the three of them, you know, and that's why I would, there, there was there was a, it was an interesting pairing. It's not high up because it's not your your best of buds, you know, but there is definitely something in it that I would say. Works. But, but there was there, like it, a it, manipulation. The dependency made it what it is. They they one needed the other. Okay, yes, one was gone after a while, but it they it, relied um, on each other. They made but. They that, live a better life because of point, Big Tone. That's a really interesting point Big Tone makes. There, it, it started as a manipulation. You know, Brad Pitt does definitely trick him, but they very clearly say in the movie 
And he says it in the opening during his narration that, you know, he was the closest thing I had to a brother. He was my friend. He was the only one who lived through the centuries with me. How they got there was bad. And there's no <laughs> doubt Lestat, Lestat tricked him into doing it. But where they ended up, essentially as brothers just eating their way through the ages, I actually think it's a really interesting take on the buddy concept. Um, which is why I said to AJ, like, yeah, hell yeah, good, good shout, put that one in. Which one of y'all came up with this? Was it AJ? It was AJ, yeah. Uh, oh, I this is the first time I lost a lot to companionship. The film hmm. this, this movie was how I lost my first bet with a friend of mine. Stupidly, we're arguing about this movie, we both saw it once. This is like a year later, and you know, Tom Cruise's character I lost that. I'm like, that was played by Val Kilmer. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't say anything different to me. I was so confident. You don't understand the confidence. It's like, I bet you five pounds. I was like, I, give, I bet you five pounds. We put the money down. Yes, there wasn't a thing. We could just go Google it right away. It was a long search process to find the answer. And when we found out, I was like, ah. Oh. And he was like, keep your money. So you like, no, no, be like, that. I don't want the remake. I want the original version of the film. <laughs> the <Valkyrie laughs> I don't remake. want Queen of the Damned. I don't want Queen of the Damned. You don't understand. <laughs> I was so, when, you know, the confidence to the point of, you know, you're wrong. And it's proven that you're wrong. You're still looking for reasons of like, they must be, it's a different version. This ain't the one I saw. Then I was like, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Keep the money. You won. Keep the money. But yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, it's a hell of a good choice for me, that one. Um, just to um, let you know, then, Val Kilmer paid a bat, not a vampire. But that's a different <laughs> That's oh. what it was. Oh, I thought he transformed. Oh, my Oh, bad. it hurts. It hurts so much. <laughs> that oh, the best Batman ever. We're talking about the best Batman ever. <laughs> uh, I know what right. audience. Num number six for us. <laughs> this, this was one of my picks. Uh, in my opinion, the greatest Western ever made. Uh, I'm going with Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. These two had th this such an incredible story that these two have. It's a buddy movie. It's a chase movie. It's a Western. And it's got two of the all-time greats in Paul Newman and Robert Redford in the leads. It is. Ooh. It's in typical Western fashion. At some points, it's quite slow. But it's slow purposefully. It's not like like a Sergio Leone movie. Where it's slow where it's like, I will now give you 10 minutes of focusing on the Utah Valley. And it's like, oh, we could do some character stuff and move the story along. That's most Westerns for me. This was just like, it's slow, but it's, it's meant to feel grindy. Because what these two guys do, it's very Red Dead Redemption. Like, there's a train hold up. Red Dead got its ideas from this. There's a big train hold up. They pick the wrong train company to rob, and the owner of the train company employs this Native American to track them. So the whole movie, they're on the chase, they're on the chase, they're on the run, they're on the run, they're on the run. And dude, they are trying everything they can to get away. They're running through water, they're running across rocks. They're like, he can't track us across rocks, surely. This guy knows how to track them. And every time they think they're safe, who rolls into town? but the company and the Native American. And it is such a grind. Like, you you feel exhausted. Like, you feel what the characters are feeling. It's like, oh, my God. Escape, please. <laughs> like, it's an incredible film. If you haven't seen it, and I'm oh. someone who doesn't really like Westerns much, if you like Westerns, you'll love this. If you don't like Westerns, I believe you'll love this. It's It's timeless. I haven't, I haven't seen, it, seen it. But how do you feel about? Oh, I, haven't I haven't seen, seen it. it. No. I know about it. I just haven't seen it because my Western times, you know, as usual, Western was a thing. Everyone watched all of the Good, the Bad, the Ugly, all of the stuff. The Clint Eastwood movies, you know, the spaghetti Jamaican, Westerns, right. the spaghetti Westerns, and then after after a while, it just stopped, and I didn't get to watch this when that was happening. But I was gonna ask Nika, how do you feel about being on the set of a Western movie? How'd you a mean? year ago. <laughs> oh yeah. Fact. You were at, Fact, fact, studio, fact. And that one little square, yeah, yeah. All the westerns were shot in that one little square. Yeah, yeah, it was very <laughs> cool. It was listen, Universal Studios was incredible, man. You could fit there were so many places. What I loved was they had the 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 <laughs> the saloon doors that were really small, 
to make John Wayne look really, really big. <laughs> and then the copies of those, to, which were really the big, woman. to make the ladies look really small to emphasize that John Wayne was really big, when in fact, he weren't that big. <laughs> it, I was like, that's amazing. And then man. the fact that the, the, the road was to say, they pull a carpet out. Yeah. To create the dirt because it's actually if dirt means dust. Just to guide. I don't it's not a promotion for the place, but I would love for you lot to actually go out and see it. And I'd love for um Nico to go back and experience it again and just have it with a different eyes. So yeah. I will experience it um only twice, but the second time was totally different <laughs> compared to the first. It ruined cinema for me forever, I'll say that. <laughs> Sorry. It can't ruin it. You should it should it, 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 when you see it from a dip, different perspective, it took a while to to readjust my like, just taking on film the way I used to before doing my studies. But um, no, good, um, not good, the bad, and ugly. Butch Cassidy and Sundance Kid. I'm not the biggest Western fan. Ha having heard about this film, I was overhyped on it, so I didn't enjoy it as much. But it is a good film, so I would say watch it. If you do appreciate westerns, you will probably just love it straight away. Um, it, it's got a good pace. I was just expect, I don't know, just maybe misunderstood what was being sold to me in, in the build up. Mm. But I did watch it and I didn't hate it, put it that way. It, no, it's a good film. It is a good you film. can't hate this film. <laughs> I'm going to try. We will not do that again. I like it. That cheese shall not be repeated. <laughs> um, yeah. So right. That was our number six. Over to you guys for your number five. I'll let you guys uh... go. Cool. All right, man. So our number five, man, is one of the all-time classic buddy cop films, in my opinion. We're talking about Jackie Chan. We're talking about Chris Tucker. We're talking about Rush Hour. Now, when this film came out, again, like this was at the height of Chris Tucker's um, popularity from a little film that we just mentioned. <laughs> yeah, but it, it was especially big. Um, everywhere and again they put him i think in fifth element and all of that type of thing so his stuff was on the rise but then yeah you you put pair him with one of the martial arts like godfathers in terms of films in it yeah and that's jackie chan and the comedy between them you did not expect the chemistry and the dynamic to be so good but it really was with so many classic lines like do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth right now <laughs> And like when Jackie Chan is trying to sing what? What is it good for? <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of like hilarious parts in this film, man. I consider this an all-time classic, man, and it should be on any list of buddies, especially the dynamic and the love they actually gain from each other as well. I love this film. I do the best thing about this. What I love about this film is the fact that it's the first American Hollywood made movie Jackie Chan did without dubbing it. Because he tends to oh, dub his movie, that. and it's the first time he kept it. That's why he, even that, um, I don't understand the word this guy is saying. Do you understand the words? Yeah. All those lines were when they first meeting. Because he went, I don't understand this guy, he speaks too fast. But <laughs> yeah, he didn't just do it in the case of like, you know, a lot of people just do, you say the words to me, I will repeat it back to you. He actually tried to learn a bit of English for it. Hence why. It worked so well. A fast talker with someone going, dude, I'm trying to understand. Slow down. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> well, it came on the list because Tom brought it up. I was like, can't put smoke in here twice, but it's there twice. You can, <laughs> you can. Do, do you put Rush Hour over Rush Hour 2? Um, that's debatable because I, I love Rush Hour 2. Rush Hour yeah. 2 had one hilarious moments where when he's like, you got to watch your back and this gets kicked by the goal. <laughs> I, I, I almost died that part. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I do. I put Rush Hour over Rush Hour 2. I know. Interesting. I know. Interesting. Rush Hour 2 is a comedy one that everyone just loves. But this yeah. is them meeting and growing from there. You're going to see, I think we've got other movies on there which we put part two than part one. Look, we did mm. Die Hard with Adventures and we didn't do like, because Die Hard 1 is a buddy movie. Just it one's is. in the building, one's on the radio. But we went for Adventures because sure. they're together together. Yeah. Um, but yeah. 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 I put this, I, for me personally, Rush Hour 1. I'm more like watch Rush Hour 3 first again. Show me that again. <laughs> Rush Hour 3 I didn't have much time for. 2 nah, was great. Nah. Two's my personal favorite. 1 and 2, one and two were, the, were the films. Three, three. Chris Chris Tucker was a different man by the time 3 came out and it, it's visible. You know, He just wasn't comfortable delivering the comedy that they wanted from him. Uh, fun fact, um, we're talking about the rise of Chris Tucker 
and what have you. Just before this came out, there was, well, I'd say just before, there was a film called Money Talks. I don't know if you guys have seen it. It's Chris Tucker yeah, and Charlie Sheen. It's very much the ground braces of Rush Hour. And I think it's um, the same director, Ratner or something. So it's very Brett much... Ratner, yeah. The, yeah, it's very much the ground basis of what built Rush Hour. This was on my list. It, it just didn't, yeah, it wasn't a common ground one. And not the ground basis for Rush Hour is called 20. Um, it's not on our, not on anyone, I'm um, not on my list. Oh, no, you can spoil her. Not on our list. It's 48 hours. That's the yeah. ground. <laughs> yeah, fact. That's, that's the yeah. ground. Before, before all of these movies, that's when that came out. But problem is, not because you're the first, I mean, you're the best. Mm. So that's Fact. why it's not on my list. Fact. Cool. Yeah. So you are number three. Um, fun fact, I've never... I, I've, I was always caught part of 48 Hours. I've never actually watched it from beginning to end. I always catch it in the middle of it on TV. So I can't really comment on 48 Hours if I'm... Wait, wait, wait. We did do our number four, but um, then... It's not time for your number four. Oh. We're doing one apiece No, it's not four. It's, it's oh, one, one yeah. from now. Okay. Okay. One yeah. apiece now, bro. Um, Nick, this is on to you, bro, because this is this is oh, yes. all time movie. Oh, second favorite movie of all time. Uh, definitely a buddy movie. <laughs> um, not one you may think of, though. Well, actually, I think you'll agree when I say it. Man, come on, Jaws, the original Jaws. Of course, what? it's a buddy movie. Of course, it's a buddy who? movie. They make friends with the shark. <laughs> well, That's they make friends with the shark. The shark in the water. They make friends with the shark. What? Obviously, this 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 film isn't. You can look at it as the shark movie, but I think both Spielberg and Peter Benchley, who wrote the book, it's very allegorical. The whole movie is about the creeping dread. It's about life coming to claim us. It's about us being on borrowed time. There's all sorts of layers to Jaws. And of course, if you don't even want to go down the allegorical side and you just want to look at it as a freaking shark movie, it works perfectly. Has it aged? No, because it was never looking good to start with. The point, <laughs> the point of this movie isn't about the shark. And if you when people always say, oh, but the shark looks bad. The shark looked bad in the 70s, bro. The shark never looked good. And that's why they made the decision very early in the production. Hey, maybe we don't show the damn shark because it looks like shit. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look great, this shark, now does it? So what they do is they hide the shark from you. They hide it behind an E flat and G minor. They hide it behind one of the most haunting pieces of music in cinema history. And they hide it behind a cinematographer underwater moving his camera forward to make you think that you're seeing things through the shark's eyes. And for the rest of the time, it's three men on a boat talking about stuff. It's a buddy movie. Sorry. Sorry, oh, can I, I just say before going into buddy parts, do you know who did create a better looking shark? Yeah, deep shark blue sea. This man, big shark. Oh, yeah, big shark. shark. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I just, I just dreams, saw the man. I just saw the I'll give you something but, though. Um, as well again with yeah, Jaws, they did one thing I didn't like. They demonized sharks, and yeah. because of the, when this. The amount of sharks get murdered and killed, where dolphins are the evil people on the ocean. <laughs> dolphins are the wicked one, not the sharks. If yeah, sharks fact. smiled, everyone would love shark. Just don't swim with them. Look, 51st dates, like, they're, pen, they're, they're nice. <laughs> 51st yeah. dates. Yeah. Well, my work here is yeah. done, AJ. <laughs> <laughs> What's your work? Preaching what you've just been preaching. Okay. Normally, okay. that's that like of letting people know that sharks are not as bad as the, as oh. you would intend them to be. Not a diver, it's just an obvious fact. <laughs> well, people just yeah. go, They got teeth, they're bad. And dolphins are like, I'm gonna beat you up, do other things. I kind of say on this because I don't want to, they're gonna use the R word on you and then kill you again. Yes, yes, they, they will do. do that. They do, there do are that. videos of dolphins doing this, they do this, yes. And people think, Oh, they're smiling. No, their face is you know why? evil. This just shows the power of movies. Flipper, oh, he's our friend, Jaws, he's evil. No, no. <laughs> Movies, don't believe them. It's not all true, you went guys. Flipper, I went sequest. <laughs> he will <laughs> rape you faster than you can flee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to change the theme. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what is in my head? I don't know. It's really bad. 
I'm just thinking of Dolphins now with Kendrick Lamar. They're not like us. So it's like they look <laughs> like they're the <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Quite good. Maybe, maybe that was an A minor. <laughs> the Drakes of the Sea. <laughs> they are. They are. Wow. <laughs> anyway. anyway, let's anyway, move on before we get four. to uh, number Damn. four. So, what number four is a punt from earlier? Yeah, different picture. Let's go with this one Die Hard with a Vengeance. I love this film oh, so much. I love, this, I love this film so much. Like, I, I'll be honest with you, though, know, when I first saw this, I was like, this is not Die Hard. Hmm. Because oh, it was so, it was so different. My understanding. It was so different than Die Hard. I went, how can he be trapped in a city? <laughs> Where's his wife? <laughs> Why is he saving her again? Why is he with that guy? That What's his name? Hey, Zeus. Hey, hey, Zeus. Why are you saying keep telling me, hey, Zeus? And I said, that guy called you back there. No, my name is Zeus. He just said, hey, Zeus. <laughs> and by the way, the first time you saw it, did you see the proper version with the actual real banner? Or did you see the... With the banner. With oh, the no, banner. I seen oh, it with okay. the banner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. With the banner. But that's the first version I saw. So when I saw it again, I was like, I hate everything. That's not the right word. <laughs> is that what it says yeah. now? Stop it. Yeah, I hate everything. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. love censorship. Uh, I, I don't, I, I, I'm shocked <laughs> oh, at that. I didn't know they censored it. I oh, didn't know they the real, it. The real version was just a blank white thing. It didn't actually have anything written on it. And they just put <laughs> it on afterwards. But yeah. But but you got to admit, though, that part of the film was an all-time classic because it was shocking. I can only imagine people's uh, face in the audience. But they seen that. Uh, He's in Harlem. <laughs> He's got no, you know what written on him, and then you're dead, man. You're dead. The introduction <laughs> and like you know Samuel uh, Jackson's character and uh, the most John racist McCain. guy I ever met on TV. Absolutely, on like excellent, <laughs> absolutely excellent, excellent. You got about thirty seconds till they see you. Yeah, and then you are about you. to have a very bad day. <laughs> yeah. But man, the one liners in this film are just crazy, and it's both of them, man. It's McLean and Samuel Jackson. Like right? they just. You bounce sh- back and sh- forth, man. Like one you one sh- line sh- lives in my mind, like um, rent free, in it. Yeah, when the guy in it is like, "Oh, attention, Miles, attention, Miles," and then Bruce, Bruce Willis is like, "Attention, attention, attention, attention. Miles is dead. Miles is dead. Miles is dead." <laughs> Thing is, you say the both, but actually, look at the poster. Simon, oh, yeah. it's three of them, man. <laughs> it's true. It's true, Simon had brilliant lines, man. It's what three of them. It was a three of them going through it. I know he's a buddy. Catch me in my ch- 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 chair. The yeah. way yeah. <laughs> chair. So good. So yeah. good. Um, and of course, not- they, they start off um, with the typical trope of not liking each other, but they become the greatest of friends of idea, did it? Just laughing at did, they just... did, you, did you see the also ending of that movie? No. No. Okay. So the- the alternate ending is Simon got away. Oh, is it? And yep, and McLean lost his job and all the madness and everything that happened. And then later, like it com- cuts to, was it five years later or something like that? I can't remember. We have to go through it. He finds um, Simon sitting in, in somewhere and goes, Huh, Simon, you thought you could have got away. And he brutally just murdered him, <laughs> just shot him, <laughs> killed him. He's like, Yeah, and it didn't work with test audiences because it just made John McLean a murderer. So they, yeah. Yeah. which he is. I'm not comfortable. Yes, with that one. <laughs> I was like, I, it's actually on YouTube, I think, somewhere. It's just, I was like, no, that happy film just became a horrible film. <laughs> mm. <Yeah. laughs> oh. I really thought you was gonna give it more of a buddy ending. <laughs> when you no. came with that, I'm like, oh, no. that's not what I signed up for. Um, I, I'll be honest, as you said, this wasn't very diehard compared to the other two. Yeah, I, I always remember this. I saw that we had the VHS and we had a coach trip to France and we watched it on the way back from France. So it was a load of melanated people seeing this. And as you talked about, like, the A-board, we were cracking up, like, oh, my days, what is he doing? And the reaction and, the, the, the as you said, that relationship building from there onwards, the film just became gold to me. Dare I say, it, it was so powerful that I, I was kind of disappointed that that wasn't the way moving forward with Die Hard. Like, I wanted Die Hard 4 to feature Samuel L. Jackson. It, yeah. It, it, it felt uh, like the way. 
it was I, I, I've never been able to appreciate Die Hard 4 after because I was like you're just oh, missing really? something you're I just like missing four. something I love 4.0 man I like really? 4.0 because there's two, there really? two versions yeah, yeah. But it's the last one I, I will like I will crap on the last thing. one it's all not day to be fair but, I, like, I've never even got was interfering. I can't watch 5 I tried and I couldn't 4 it's, was it's actually not. good Hey man, it's got one of my favorite directors. So far as to say, good, but like it was, it was. I mean, each to their own. For me, it was passable. It wasn't trash, but I was like, oh, it's a step down. It's four, four it was a step down. down. Long, right? It was, was a step five? down. Yeah, right. well, it is the one with Justin Long, correct? Mm. But again, it's a step what? down because three was so good. That's the problem. I'll I'll go as far as to say this is going to be unpopular for some people. Three is actually my favorite Die Hard. It's mine. It's my favorite. Same, That's why it's on the list. It's you, my second it, it favorite. Feels number wrong, one is my number one. one. It's such an original, but it is my favorite. Mm. Number one is my number one. Always would be my number one because, um, as I was saying, no, no. Going back to the things of talking when we were talking about movie, we were at the time watching movies with Rambo and um, Commando and all them big action movie. And then my friend came and told me, "There's a movie. Wait till you see it. It come out. There's a guy stuck in a building. He's in a, and he described it. And we went, "You're trying rubbish. That doesn't happen. That's a dumb movie." And then way later, we got to see it and we're like, oh my God, he's just a normal individual. He's a normal guy. So at that time, it wasn't a normal heroes. It was all big muscle. They're trying to get as big as they can. And he was just like, what am I going to do? <laughs> Think there's, a blind, there's a blind spot for me. I've never actually seen Commando. Oh, what? No, that's one line of city. What? That is oh, the you should. Oh. You gotta that's... go watch that film. That's it. We're watching that because it's a night. It's a it's, no. It's an eighty-minute movie. It's an eighty-minute movie. It's a go in it's during the intro. I'll be back a lot. It says oh, but in in the in the what's it called again? The intro of the movie that just gives you what's going to happen, and then the movie starts action. We're watching mm. that the next time we link up. Sure, <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's one of the few Arnie movies I have not seen, and it's like. Mm. Look, man, any that. parody film you've heard where they've like just shoot the one liners, the hard man thing is from Commando. Like, trust nah. me. Yeah, look, this, this might, and I, I know this, and it might be one of the reasons I haven't gone. Oh, oh I can't wait. It. I can't like, wait Simpsons to watch Matt someone Bain. watch it for the first time. You know, obviously, that's based on Schwarzenegger, but a lot of the things from that is Commando. Yeah. Come on. I need to see go. it. Where is this going again? Where is he? I let him go. What happened? Took a break. What happened? Yes, let some air out. Was it? Oh, but, but he's got gas. Again, oh, the little line. <laughs> we can't hype mm. it too much because then Nico will go into it not liking it. No, like <laughs> I know what to expect. No, <laughs> this movie, like. this movie has the most basic plot of a movie can have. Yeah. Um, you've kept this person. I got to rescue them. Go. <laughs> just point, take your brain, open it up, put it to the side, close it, and let's go. <laughs> yeah, pretty yeah, much. That's, that's what that's it is. Calm. <laughs> yeah. That's calm. Ooh. I'm not. I, it's an Arnie movie, guys. I'm not expecting something that's going to be life altering. Yet. Well, I'm not expecting Predator. Put it that way. I'm not <laughs> expecting Predator. <laughs> like, yeah, Get to I'm the chopper. Get to the chopper. <laughs> 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 It's a good capybara. I'm going to see Commando. Do it now! Real, Come real, on. Quickly, real quickly, guys. What is your favorite Arnie movie from the 80s? Mine's Total Recall. From the 80s? 80s so I can't do True Lies. Well, 80s, Predator, I though, might agree with you. Commando. That's Predator! <laughs> Come on. It's good All of them Predator. are great choices. Total Recall is... Qu Total Recall is a seriously underappreciated movie. What? People still what? people people Running love Man. it, but here's Running Man's nineties. No, Running Man's eighty eight. Well, that that counts 80s. as well. Yeah. Um, but come on, but I watched that again recently. No, quite narratively brilliant. Total Recall with the whole red skies of Mars thing at the end. I'm like, mm -hmm. this movie's got no business mm -hmm. having this sort of narrative depth. It's an irony movie, and yet here we are. And the book it's like is an this thick. Thing. It's like an inception thing, isn't it? Is that is he, isn't he? Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and, and by the way, is it Asimov? Oh, it's a it's a it's no no, it's a very thin little manuscript type of book. It's like a comic, but in a book form. It's nothing. They made an entire story out of this, and to go for it, he is dreaming. He's got his brain dead. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> if, you wanted, yeah. if you want to talk something out of nothing, 12 monkeys. 
the the, oh, the mini film La Jetée that is put together. The French little slide La is fantastic. That makes Twelve Monkeys insane. That how they made that. I, I'm still yeah. in awe of that. That yeah. is that is something. Come I on, love. we can go. We can we can keep going with this. You know, like for instance, um, spells. <laughs> oh, damn it. Damn it, ignore me. My brain not work. Um, <laughs> Go on, damn it. Oh. Keep bringing it, please. I beg you. Uh, uh, Paul Lavo, um, Paul Lavo, um, Lavo, the guy that made um, Robocop. Starship Troopers. Paul, oh. Paul Verhoeven. Paul Verhoeven, yeah. Starship Troopers was like three pages, <laughs> four pages. And they went, <laughs> I can make a movie out of that. That's a franchise. <laughs> a, shitty, a crappy franchise. Did Verhoeven fr- make Starship Troopers? Yeah. Huh. Nice respect. This is why it's what it is because he made it as a people took it serious and he's like, "Do you know the director? Why are you taking this? Do you know the director? No, he, he's making fun, and you lot are taking it serious, you idiots." <laughs> but they realize that now. But then by that point, they've already made Black, Black Part Ten. It's <laughs> like no one wants to see this. <laughs> <laughs> they go straight to DVD, just <laughs> just straight to a streaming site near you. I'm talking about um one of the hubs. <laughs> Careful, <laughs> I end up on the wrong hub. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Anyway, yeah, number four. Our uh, number four, Nick. You want it? I take it. It's up to you. Go for it. Uh, our number. No, go for it. What you're doing? It. I'll do it. No, you okay, do. Okay, cool. What you gonna do when they come for you, bad boys? Bad oh, boys. Get slapped. Oh, no, I didn't forget this. I didn't forget this. He's soured for me. I'm done with him. Carry on. Damn. Do you He's know? been Will Ferrell. <laughs> He's been willed. He's been willed. He's yeah, been willed. Another will. <laughs> bloody, bloody wills. Anyway. Carry on. Damn wills. Um, I'll be honest. I know you've got your Beverly Hills Cop. I know you've got your Rush Hours. I know you've got most of your Buddy Cop movies. Others that I've, I have peaked and I've seen, so I won't mention it. You've got your 48 Hours. This one is the buddies that always jumps to my head when I first think of buddy cop movie. This is the first film. The rest follow. Um, the, the, the pairing just worked for me. Uh, it, this was, I know Will had done other films. This one was to me like his first proper film. Six Degrees of Separation is what it was. This worked in the sense of both the comedy, the action, good storytelling as well. Um, I was really taken in by this. It was like, ah, the Fresh Prince can do more. Even Martin Lawrence, I must admit, I never watched Martin as a kid or anything like that. So I was like, okay, I recognized him, but I was like, the, the pairing just worked. Uh, you've got the super slickness that was Will Smith at a height of just before the major blockbuster world came in, you know. But he was slick. Then you've got the Martin Lawrence, who would want to do everything to be Mark Larry because Marcus Bennett just isn't living that life. Yet they work, they've been together their whole journey. Will's lost his friend. Her, yeah, his friend, but the girl who lives with her is now trying to find him because that's the only person she trusted. And yeah, it unfolds the story. I just loved it. And I'm one of those people who also enjoys two. I hate three. I refuse to even see four in the cinema. I just, I, don't, I didn't care for it. I, it's done for me. But one and two have a special place in my heart and they are the buddies. And that's why it made the list for me. I actually liked four. I'm not going to lie. Four. <laughs> I would never watch well, it. I'm not being four. Did you like three? Or will you appreciate it? Will you I thought three like was three? okay. It's one of those films, isn't it, like, where it's just another in the series. It's not something that you would say, oh, this is one of the best in the franchise or this is a must-see movie. It's just if you happen to want to watch another Bad Boys movie, there is. It's nothing special about it. Gabriel so- Union for me. That's the only reason for number three. <laughs> so here's no, that, 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 that number two. That's number two, isn't it? She's in two. No, mm. She's in two. Well, three can go yeah. do yeah. something to itself. If, if Gabriel <laughs> Union's your pick, then there's that TV show with her and Jessica Alba, which was the spin off to Bad Yeah, yeah. That, that's a good buddy <laughs> cut show. That's that a TV show I'd watch that, Jessica Alba. That I don't <laughs> <I> know. <laughs> you, that's why I plugged it for you. Um, Tone, the one question I am going to ask you, considering you. Dark Angel. Has anyone else seen all four of them? <laughs> I've seen no. all four of them, but I don't forget right. what else. You're the only one who's seen all four. How would you yeah. rank them? Because it will then determine if I'm going to give four a shot. Two, one. I would literally um, <laughs> probably rank them as in one, two, four, three. Okay. Okay. I might give it a shot then. Look, look, man. Like this you- is one thing you just want. You, you can watch at home 
if like you know you and let miss ain't really got anything to watch that night yeah just put on it's cheap laughs isn't it yeah that's what it is it's nothing i just found that was missing more. from three that was the problem that's why i couldn't i couldn't bring myself to see four I don't know, like, you know, there is one part that I really did like um, in four because it was a callback to number two. Okay. It, like, when you see it, you'll know. Cool. There's only one thing I remember from any of the bad boys is this one line. I want to be, I want to be like Mike Pat. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> and that's, and that's oh, not come Slappy on. McSlap. Bad, bad boys gave us Woosa. Um, he's straight pal driving her. They do it like we do. <laughs> Bad boys. Oh, yeah, again, yeah. All these lines are caught in. Who's dropping all these lines? Oh, it's uh, Martin Lawrence. That's the funny bit. Yeah. The the yeah. dope part is even, even when he's trying to be Will, it's Mike Mike Lowry Mike Lowry. <laughs> You're right. It's Martin Lawrence is actually the star of it. I've never actually stopped thinking that. I give I this though. Just, in part one, Martin Lawrence was the biggest star. And they were going for Mark, Martin Lawrence with Will Smith being a TV guy from Fresh Prince, bringing him on board. And he stole the role and he became the biggest star from that one. In part two, Will Smith was the biggest star and Martin Lawrence was just there because he was in part one. And then he became dropped all the best lines and he owned it. Number three and four, I can't speak on because I haven't seen it, seen them. But actually, I have seen three. That's the one with the, the Michael Bay one with the coffins dropping out the back, the bodies in the car. When they're chasing the car on the high street and the coffins are dropping out the bodies, the Mexican drug lord. That's not yeah. two again, is it? Am I talking about two again? It's two again. God damn. I've never I seen three then. Two. Jesus. I just realized that's two again when they went to quantum. quantum. Yes. No, you're, yeah. Wait, you know what? As I stated at the start, you like ranted about one will. This will can go do something to himself. He probably does. Or get someone to puffy come and see will a lot. So let him. Yeah, let stop, him it, stop, it, stop, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. I'm not talking about that part. I'm just saying they can hang out together and be themselves, right? He can go with his bald woman, right? And chill, right? <laughs> Jada Pinkett Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith. Our name's in my mouth. Slap you me. know, this is this is our podcast and we'd like to keep it not in trouble. Ooh, I'm sorry. Let me stop then. All the words and said were said by Denatech, not by anyone to do with the silver screen, dude. This is all my views. Nothing to do with the host and... <laughs> <laughs> but Demlock King really he can go away man go away <laughs> emancipation good number three guys <laughs> <laughs> unless you had anything to say about bad boys Nick I don't know um, um... I don't know what to say at this point <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely don't know what I could add to this you're number three guys all okay, right. did I do the? Yeah, I did right. do the. No, no, I, I yeah. didn't. Mind. Right, so wait, wait. this is it's one of my you. picks. This is it's one of my picks. It. Is it you? Yeah, yeah. Did, did I do that hard? hard? Yeah, I did do yeah. hard. All right, go on. This is my pick. Go and take it. <laughs> it's your pick. I, I saw. I let you do most of the talking. I just want to highlight yeah, right, a couple right, of moments in it. Yeah. Dumb and Dumber is our number three man. Again, nah. I absolutely love this film. <laughs> It is so funny, man. Oh, Crazy gosh. ass film. But again, it's a, it's a film with a very simple storyline, but it's the moments <laughs> of this film. It's the journey. It's the road trip of them getting there. And like some of the more off-key moments, like when he was <laughs> he was driving, he's like, I need to go toilet. And he's like, let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's so warm. He's <laughs> <just, just>, <laughs> into him. It, like this film is crazy. It has so many absolutely bonkers moments. But in terms of buddies, yeah, in films, yeah, these two have been together forever. These are like an old married couple, isn't it? So you're not really gonna get much more of a you know good example of buddies in movies, even though they are completely like you know dumb. But that's the point, isn't it? This was for a long time. Enough. Yeah, me too. This for a long time was my favorite Jim Carrey movie. I know we had Ace and Chur in all the movies, but we had the uh, Mark. Yeah. Bird. Bird. Yeah. 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 Bird. <laughs> Ever. You can... Oh, sorry. I watched this movie with a friend of mine, um, Anthony. Um, I know that Anthony. God damn. It's just like, it's just, I know where Anthony's. All right. So, yeah. And... <laughs> And Frenny. <laughs> yeah, so once again, 
we watched this movie so much, like so much, like the part when they came into the park and they were doing the the sword fighting when they're in the brown um the orange suit and the um, baby blue suit. We watched that little part on repeat so and we good. laughed so much. The snowball fight. Ah, oh, the, the 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 diarrhea. <laughs> They're chilly. <laughs> and then you realize they're just and the, 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 the world's most annoying sound. Pretty bro. Do you want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? <laughs> and then you realize a lot of these parts are just improv because he was on a high. Jim Carrey was on a high at that point, and they killed it. And what's it? Uh, what's it? Oh my god, I forgot his name. Jim Carrey and Jeff Daniels. Jeff Jeff Daniels. Daniels. <laughs> Daniel Bridges. Boy, Jeff Bridges. Jeff that Daniel. Would be a very different movie. Do you know how much Jeff Daniel got <laughs> paid for this movie? Not much, I would imagine. Like micro amount. This yeah. is when what's it called was twenty million a movie. He got like something, a couple thousand, like very low. And the reason why he just wanted to be in a movie with Jim. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I'll be real. If this movie cost twenty million, I don't know where the fuck that budget went. <laughs> oh, no, no, no! It didn't cost him twenty million. He got paid. No, no. Jim but Carrey you're was saying this was at a time when movies were being made for twenty million. I'm like, this must have been made for two or three. Oh no, he got paid. no. Jim Carrey was getting paid twenty million per movie. You know that goal that everyone wants to make to. Yeah, Every actor no. went to twenty million a movie, and he was getting the twenty million per movie. And this is one of those. So yeah, it was really. Really, I mean, this movie would forever, and it's oh yeah. By the way, this is one of those ones you can go watch again, and you would love. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Like you know, you don't want to watch your childhood movies, movies you watch when you're younger, and then watch it again and go, that was not funny. You watch it again, you you laugh when you ask. Yeah, pretty, yeah. No, pretty yeah. birds, pretty birds. Come on, it, it's so sad. <laughs> Just because... Even the scene where he lights his fart on fire, it's basic <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's great, the it's fart, timeless. Rip the heart out, put in the, the, the bag, doggy bag. <laughs> Skis, huh? Are they yours? Both of them? Cool. <laughs> <laughs> the, the tongue getting stuck on the pipe. <laughs> The cop drinking the beer. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> when they open up the briefcase at the end and all of the money is the just I.O.U. Is. <laughs> Picking his nose with yeah, the money, the nose there. The and... Oh, God. There's really so hard. much. There's so much of it. Like, where are you going? I'm, I'm sorry. One of the best endings ever when it comes to Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> yeah. What do you oh, mean? The shit, the, do you know what you just bottles. did? Do you know what you just way. did? <laughs> it's actually that way. Whew. Two guys are going to get such a break. We just can't wait till we get ours. So good. <laughs> oh. So good. Oh. It doesn't make me struggle to believe that the guys who made this went on to make this something about Mary. Like, <laughs> it's so... They they fell off, fell off the wagon a bit after that. But, like, this and there's something about Mary are two all-time comedies <laughs> for me, man. Like, oh brilliant um, is, it, is it was am i crazy for you know something about mary one of the funniest part for me is when he finally tells her the secret and walks out crying you never cried like you know usually like movies are crying and he just, ah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest i thought that I, matt dylan stole that movie for me i thought he was so freaking funny oh. like when he's spying on her and he's like listening in at the golf course on her and she says oh it's fine i don't need it man i got a dildo and all of her girlfriends laugh and he still goes <laughs> and they freaking all hear him laughing there's just and i'm sorry zapping the dog <laughs> no um lee 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 evans oh, lee evans, lee evans character. is good lee, lee evans <laughs> When God, he... that film's funny. AJ, you're number three. Our number yeah, three, rather. Right, my number three. Um, yes, so this, this one is an international movie. And it's Let the Right One In. Have you guys seen this Let, one? Is this a vampire movie? Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Okay. Let the Rat Coma In. What a film. Yeah. What a film. Now, this is friendship. This is friendship because... As innocent as this seems, and you you rightfully said it then, the vampire movie. The young girl with the red top 
is a vampire. <laughs> and she rides for her friend. She, yeah, like they, they build this one friendship. I can't, oh, the names have just escaped me. I can't remember their names. Um, Oscar and uh, Lisbeth, no? Oscar and what? I can't remember the girl. Isn't it Lisbeth? No, that doesn't seem right. Carry on, um, Oscar. I'll we'll find it. Anyway, yeah, Keep but Oscar is a very, very reclusive little kid. He doesn't <laughs> have much friends. His mom's always working. Single parent family. His mom's always out at work. So he's always just like living a very, very lonely life. And then one day comes across. We'll call her Elizabeth for now, but I can't remember her actual name. And he sees her on a swing out in the snow one day, and they start to talk and they start to build this friendship. Ellie, and it builds from there. Ellie, that's the one, yeah. And when you realise um, Ellie can, you know, here's his story, she gives her story, and this bond just builds. And then we start, we've seen it before, but Oscar starts to talk about how he gets bullied at school. And that's when we realise that she has more than, <laughs> we realise that this is a vampire movie because she exacts revenge for her friend. And while she does, there is this, uh, this part of Oscar that is, Despite everything that's happened, it's still very grounded, still wants to do stuff the right way and tries to humanise her. And she tries to show him more of what it means to like stand up for yourself and be someone. This film is an absolute must-see. I know there is an a American remake out there. I've seen this in its original form with subtitles. Yeah, Let, let Me In, it's called. One. Let Me In is the remake, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Um, is let the right one in. Cool. It's fine. The 100%. Swedish one is amazing. The Swedish movie is, yeah, it, it's a mu must-see film. Absolute must-see yeah. film. It's not your traditional vampire movie. But, but it's my an all-time great vampire that. movie. An absolutely must-see film. Mm. Go I, can't, I can't rate it enough. Your number two, Ooh. guys. Let's keep it short. Wait, oh, we'll just put me under. I'm trying to get myself on there. Right. Number two. Yes, number two. Great, because it's going to be a part two. It's Lethal Weapon 2. Hmm. What? Not Lethal Weapon 1? 2? No, yeah, I'd agree with that. It's the Cougar Ranks. <laughs> it's Diplomatic immunity. The immunity is the ones where <laughs> in part one, they're building a friendship and they get into dirt. You get to know them and it's just... That story, once again, another Christmas movie. People don't talk about it, but it's another Christmas movie, part one. Um, part two, it starts off right away. You get straight into it. He's, Riggs is running after the car. <laughs> There's a chase in the street, helicopters, gunfire. These two have become such a brothers. They're walking around the house. It's just the entire this entire series, all four of them, brilliant. Love the fact that they had the same actors. You, had the, you watch the little girl that was beatboxing in part one. Be an adult in part, like older in part two. You soon part, is it part two when he, yes, he shoots, no, no, part three, he shoots his his neighbor, his friend's best friend, something like that. So the overall series should be on the list, but we can't, so we have to pick one and we pick number two. Um, to be honest, fair, you can highlight all the movies because they are buddies. So even if you wanted, mm -hmm. as long as it's the buddies, it can kind of work. They were buddies from, from when they first, all right, then go from when they first met. Oh, uh, one wants one wanted to end um end himself. <laughs> the other one was retiring, and just because they met each other, they actually enriched each other's life. So just that, and then one had one lost his family. One had a big family. He became part of the family, and it just grew and grew and grew. What a movie overall! Jake Busey in the first one playing the villain Joshua. Yes. Oh Jesus! Um, okay, in the, now the fight I feel scene. Old. And it was the first time you saw jiu-jitsu on, um, on a movie, in the movies. You never saw a jiu-jitsu fight. You saw... Uh, number four, Jet Li, right? Yeah. He's, I think, well, like, this time it was like a ground game. The triangle. No one knew what it was doing. Why is he wrapping his head around, um, leg around a guy's head? Mm. What? Then he realized, oh, my God. But, yeah, I'm going on too much. I'm going to the fight scenes. What's wrong with me? That's my, my thing, my play. <laughs> yeah, Jump to you, so Beton. Talking about more. body films. And uh, Buddy Cop especially, yeah, this has got to really be the quintessential example for all Buddy Cop films, really, isn't it? Yeah, Buddy the Cop, yeah. Series. The young yeah. and the old. And as a extension of that, you can just, if you just focus on the Buddy aspect, the friend aspect, you, you, you're hard pushed to get much more of a friend dynamic film than like the Lethal Weapon series. You know, these two got each other's backs. 
they save each other's lives all the time. They're there for each other when disaster happens. Because again, remember, this film was one of the first films I seen to actually have the balls to kill off the um, main protagonist's uh, female, you know, counterpart. Yeah, and that, that shot me. That shot me. Like, oh, yeah, obviously... she gets shot up on the beach, yeah. doesn't she? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. You expect him to ride off into the sunset with her, but he doesn't. Yeah, so at the end, it becomes a bit of a revenge like, type thing, isn't it? And, like, um, again, as they go and you see them progress to the fourth film, but they're like, oh, we're not too old for this. Yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a great heartwarming dynamic with a lot of fun parts, man. So, yeah, a Lethal Weapon as a series earns its part here. Mm. Well, you've had two in a row, AJ. Can I do the next two then? Yes, yeah, that would work. <laughs> that would work because I was going to say okay, I'm cool. not doing number one. Uh, I'm um, going to say no, I, I have seen the number, number two. One. I've seen the number two and all. Good, good shout. Well, well, thank you, Dan. Because our number two <laughs> is Pulp Fiction. Oh, of course, that's a good it's shout. a buddy movie, and I have to thank AJ for remembering this one. He came at literally 11th hour going, are we doing Jules and Vincent dirty? And dad over here had to be like, Jules and Vincent? Jules and Vincent, yes. <laughs> like, of course, Jules and Vincent need to be in here. My initial thought, who's that? Oh, yes, those two guys. Yes, of course. While the center part of this movie literally doesn't focus on them, the movie's bookended by them. The beginning and the middle, which is actually the end. Yeah, yeah, the middle, which is actually the end, exactly, is their story. It's this, it's them going to recover a package for their boss, saying some of the quirkiest and most cutthroat dialogue you will ever hear in the most irreverent, uh, monotone <laughs> manner I think I've ever seen in a movie ever. Like the fact that they can talk about. Antoine Rakamora, half black, half Samoan, used to call him Tony Rocky Horror. You remember him. Yeah, but I wouldn't go so far as to call the brother fat. I mean, mother flubber Samoan, what's a, what's an N-word going to do? It's like, okay, so that you're cool about. Talking about the part where Marcellus throws him out a six-story window, that's fine. But goddamn, you talk about giving a man a foot massage, now we have a homoerotic <laughs> problem. <right? laughs> and, and that's this movie in a nutshell. It's like, I'm going to recite some biblical stuff to you before I murder you. Before doing the most unbiblical things you can do. To be, yeah. Yeah, while doing one of the most Talking unbiblical things burger. you can do. And then making it go Love full circle. Back. You do bring in the Bible because you're talking about now divine intervention with the bullets coming to save them, right? It's just, it's such a mad milly middle of emotions and tones and talking then about why you don't eat pork because you don't eat dog and giving me a wallet that says bad mother flubber and meeting Harvey Keitel and making them just like dorks while the they clean up a car. The metric system for burgers. Like it's, mm. I've never, I don't the think gimp. I've watched any, <laughs> ah, that's not them though. I don't but the gimp is amazing. Um, I don't think I've watched and memorized the movie more than I have watched Pulp Fiction. There was a point where I could recite this movie cover to cover. I was at age 15 and I would watch it every night. Because at 15, mm. I'd never heard dialogue like this. Still rarely have I heard dialogue this good, even now and I'm nearly 40. But I I I know that there's this trendy thing to say, Inglorious Bastards is his best work. Django is his best no, work. No, Shut no. the hell up. This Pulp is, Fiction is his best is movie. 100%. Let's, let's stop trying Thank to be you. a bunch of hipsters. Pulp Fiction Wait. is his best movie. Are all four of us agreeing on this? Best movie? Yeah. 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 Yes. All right. yes. Great. Yes, I feel... I'm part of the, I'm part of the cool crowd once. Finally. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, your number... Well, your worst and your number one. All right, do we go no, worse? Your worst, go worse? Worst, 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 yeah, yeah. All right, worst was just as we're about to go on, I was like, oh crap, we haven't done a worst. They told you think of a worst, but like, we can't think of one. So I give you this. <laughs> <laughs> I got the, uh, angry there because I thought you were going to bring up the French one, which actually we should have brought in, AJ. That was stupid. Oh, no, no, should've. no. no. That's, that's the French one. Thank but you. This, oh, no. Not so oh, is just, happy, yeah, we, I know about the French one because I watch um I watch the dudes on here and you all talked about it before. 
you've got someone that started an acting career and ended an acting career with this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what was this? Big John asked me as well. Why? Why? Yeah, give me. Why is this the worst? I went because I don't remember anything about it. <laughs> I watched. <laughs> I watched a trailer to see if I could remember it. The story yeah, is there's reason. a po- there's a police officer that loses his license because he keeps cars crashing the cars and he hails a taxi and this taxi is a transformer and he drives around <laughs> town and the taxi <laughs> I'm sorry parts came out that should not be able to be there but then the taxi driver is the one driving around and it was against was it Giselle was in this as well the master yeah. criminal I'm yeah. like they absolutely ruined the French film and I think that's mm. the worst bit behind it but the concept was simple, but then they tried to bring in like the super, super model, super villains, which was just ridiculous. The whole elements of it, it just they. I, I've seen French remakes of comedies. This was just a massacre. It was disgusting. I I, I can't thank you guys enough for putting this as your worst because oh my. Another day. reason, because you lot, the two French speaking people, of this I'm like, huh? They would appreciate this as well. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah, welcome. Yeah. That's my worst. Uh, thank you. Watch the French one. Don't pay attention to anything else. Yeah, cool. 100%. Yeah. Right. Y'all number, you can do uh, your number worst. Your number's oh, worst. AJ, I, I no, think no, you no, should worst, run worst, with this, AJ. Okay. AJ, I think you should go with this because you remembered it. Well done. And it just feels yeah. oh so poignant given what we've spoken about this episode. So, Will, yes, Will. We're, we're talking <laughs> Will. This is it. Will has come back one more time because Will Farrell and John C. <laughs> Riley in Step Brothers it's terrible. Absolutely I'm not going to argue with you. Terrible. I am not going to argue with you. I'm not going to argue <laughs> with you. Listen, yes. It, you know what hurt me with this film? And I don't I like know what it was. Film, I had a day off one day. I don't. And I was on Instagram and they quoted a line. And I was like, where's this from? Because I keep hearing it all the time. I knew it was a Will Ferrell movie. We didn't know which one. And it was Step Brothers. And I'm like, this film constantly seems to get quoted. And I was like, mm. I'm going to watch Step Brothers. I, I, I know he's not my guy, but this might be it. Because a lot of the lines seem to be lines that are quoted all the time. I took my stupid self and sat down and watched this film and could not find an element of laughter once. I, I always knew it was going to be two men child, m- man child, or like men children. I can't get it out correctly. I can say man child, I can't find the plural to that. However, this film was terrible. What always bugs me, because when we talk about buddies and stuff like that, John C. Riley always seems to jump into films with Will Ferrell and they always look terrible. John C. Riley can deliver bloody good films. John C. Riley's a damn good actor. This is what I'm saying. He has done some killer stuff. Yet, I like this is the second. No, no, it's not the second time. I've seen trailers like him. They were going to do like Sherlock Holmes and something. Oh, you yeah. didn't see Tell that the, tremendous the, piece of doo doo. Oh, oh God, I did. no, no, no. I, and the thing <laughs> is, I, I, I that was had bad. I actually had a chance to go to the premiere to that. My brother worked in Westfields and they were giving out tokens for the premiere. Just missed it. But I think it was actually because it was Will Farrell. I was like, no, nah, it's all right. I'll, I'll leave it. But yeah. this film, the, throughout the whole thing, like, don't get me wrong. Let's let's quote Dumb and Dumber. These are two guys who are adult ch- children in adults' bodies. You can find humour in that. This was terrible. Every mm. element of it. I was just like, this is bad. This is bad. Can I, I guess? I, can I guess the line you keep hearing? Which one? Did we just become best friends? Was that the line that you keep hearing? It. It's quotable. That's it is very quotable. That's you know? the only one but, I know. But there's all these other stuff. Like I, there's one about I'll never call him dad and all of this crap. I can't remember. There's there's a load of oh, stuff I keep seeing. On I'm the, I'm I'm hurting just by hearing. <laughs> it's, but a bad, I, it's a bad movie. It was terrible. Oh. And I but wait, there's one person here that people, actually liked it. But it's never big tone. Come defend it. This is literally uh, a what you oh. get on the tin scenario. Like, no, you can't crap. go with this film expecting <laughs> it to be any semblance of really good. You go in there for the absurdity and the overly stupid jokes in it. But yeah. it's not even absurdity. Right. Absurdity, going back to something about Mary, you know, the man the, the, the zipper. The, the boat the rap for. video, that's absurd. That was terrible. What rap video? It was terrible. <laughs> I, I couldn't even laugh at it. Right, look, I get the this. level of absurd oh. and, and, and trying to gross out was him taking out his nutsack and putting it on a drum set. It was terrible, none of it made sense or humorous. Oh, two grown men are going to try and make a bunk bed, and one's nearly killed the other. I was just like, What am I watching? What ready, am ready I, for I, I, I wish it? I could giggle. 
if I could giggle, I would have said the, the way had you element described of the way you described the nutsack on the drums. The way you just described it is actually funnier than what the movie delivered. Funnier than what it actually did. Yeah, yeah. But you ready? Ready Sorry, for this? Dan. I'm a big. No, no, it's all good. I was cutting in. I'm a big Will uh, Will Ferrell fan, but I give you this. This was a bad movie. As many. This of was them a are. bad movie. This, and Sherlock Holmes. Yeah, um, it was. He, he start, doesn't matter if it's worse. It's a bad movie. There could be multiple bad movies. <laughs> be a right, but I'm still a big Will Ferrell fan. It just this Why? was a drop up because he's a funny dude. Why? You're in a minority. You know you are. It's you know what good. it is? I'll tell you what it is, right? Step, I, I've not done Talladega Nights wow. and I've not done Anchorman. I, I, I'll, I'll give you that. But here's what oh, I don't me. get Anchorman. You need to I see Elf. You hype. need to see Elf. Five yeah, minutes of you. Elf and I'm like, funny. what is this? Then it was like, I Step like Brothers. Elf, you need to it. see Step Brothers. Step Brothers. You can't deliver. Like everything people refer to have not delivered me the comedy that this man is meant to be Thank delivering. You. Thank you. This is my issue. Cool. So feel free to dislike someone. I'll watch it. Come on. I'm, on this list today, I just made a rant about someone I dislike for different reasons. Not his acting ability, not his movie stuff, but the actual person. I mean, your but, person yeah, no, has no. acting ability. Yeah, yeah my person was, mm, but then he, mm. anyway. But this one, I was called again. I like, I, I'm a fan of Will Ferrell. Um, not one of those hardcore, like, it makes a movie I have to go see. But I will give it a chance. Not saying lately he's been letting me down because his movies have been, he's an older, older man and he's trying to still be been 20 that years. character. <laughs> yeah, and he's trying to play that character. So it's just, when you, when you first saw this character, that because you know everyone just sounds a type. He's like a, all right, I give you something what you're not going to like. It's like a Jim Carrey and people going, I don't like that, whatever he's doing. And you got people that didn't like Jim Carrey being Jim Carrey. And you're like, how can you not like that? It's the same way I'm feeling going, wait, I don't understand how you don't like that. But then, yeah, there's actually some real drop-offs. B-Tech, Jim Carrey. That's, I think, what bugs me. He is B-Tech, Jim Carrey. Everyone nah, praised him the second coming. <laughs> they, they called him the second coming of Jim. Like, oh, if you love this, you'll love that. No. Never, Steve Carell is the second never coming heard, of Jim. So you guys are honestly telling me that, like, Wolf Earl wasn't your favorite part of the Barbie movie? I'll get lost. Awesome. But here's the thing. For, for, for someone who hates Feral, I can watch both daddies oh. and they don't bug me. But uh, I still what? do not appreciate the guy. I, I, I can't. He does not. Uh, we have to... The whole thing about Will Ferrell, like in general, like, well, I get you don't like him and Ooh. you don't like his films and all that. But for me, it's just exactly what you expect from him, isn't it? He's exactly yeah, what crap. it says on the tin. And just like, like other, there's other guys like him, Adam Sadler, like, you know, no going to way one of his are you home. mad? Listen, no, you see one of his films, all of them. them. It's the same type of thing with Will Ferrell. Really? Have you ever yeah. seen Will Ferrell put in a solid performance like Adam Sandler has in his dramas? I'm talking about his comedy. Like, or like okay, I've never dramas. seen a Will Ferrell comedy that's made me laugh like Happy Madison there is no or, way, or Billy Madison or Happy Gilmore. There's like, no, no way, way you're going to change no, I'm, I'm not saying that once again. Films are funnier. So. The good part is, the good part though is, Big Tone, you and I are winning because we've got extra movies. Mm -hmm. They're not losing because they've got their movies. It's not, once again, it's um, perspective. movies, was it? It's an art form. And what does that mean? Um, it's completely subjective. subjective. It's all subjective. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to push a movie down. You're trying to say, you must like this movie. Of course hey, not. You of like it, not. you don't. It is what it is. There's movies I hate that other people like, and there's movies I like that people hate. It is what yeah. it is. But, but my, yeah, my point was because just, I see the time. I, I just okay. like look at someone like a Will Ferrell and like I just look, I know exactly Will Ferrell. what we're getting. It, it's, <laughs> you're not gonna like like him. Oh, my no, no, no. <laughs> you're not gonna <laughs> like his films if you don't like him. Like, Here, here's a question yeah. I have to ask them. Here's a question I have to ask. And Prime Minister, it's more to you, Big Tone, because I on. think I can kind of see the angle. But then feel free to jump in. Okay. The Will Ferrell hype that's there. Would you say? He is overhyped. Yeah, I would say he's overhyped. No, because, because again, I never heard that, I've never heard the hype. He's like um the same as Jim Carrey. That to me is never a heard benchmark that. that's too high. But what I would say in it, like he's just a typical, like you know, nonsense type filmmaker, basically, in it. Like you're gonna see him in all of these like films that don't make any sense that are just there for cheap laughs. 
And that's how I take it. I don't take it seriously. That's why I can enjoy him, I guess. Never heard about the hype of Will Ferrell. Never felt that. I saw a skit when he was the landlords or the I was like, I saw just a bunch of skit with him. I saw movies and I didn't even think it's a Will Ferrell movie. I just saw the same this guy coming to this movie again. I went, oh, him again. Didn't think about it. Didn't even think about it up until I watched the silver screen dude and hearing the dislike from him. I was like, wait, people are thinking about him like that much? That's literally my whole first time thinking about it. I'm shocked you've not heard it. Never actually got hype. Never got the hype. Never got anyone pushing Pharrell down my throat. But let's move on. <laughs> Guess who's going to do the number one? I'm really upset you're going to do the number one, but you uh, do it. All right, man. As people know, I think you can take it from me. So, again, we talk about quintessential like uh, movies, yeah, for like Buddy Cup genre, and then by proxy, Buddy as well. But got to go with Beverly Hills Cup for our number one. Now, on the surface, yeah. yeah, it might be just about like it's seeming like it's just about you know Eddie's character, isn't it? Axel F, yeah, Axel yeah. Foley. Yeah. But Say again, his name. forget <laughs> the F, Axel, Axel Foley. Foley yeah. <laughs> but again, Foley's like whole journey throughout his film Sorry, is complemented by in it, yeah, like Tiger and Judge Reinhold, and like their whole relationship that they build together, and like of of course it starts out with that typical trope of oh we're against each other but again Reinhold's always been a real one has his back from the beginning and then slowly Taggart comes around and then before the end of it man you discover a wonderful mix of insanity and like great scenes together and you know they all depart like um you know best of friends now why I would say there's probably other movies on this list that more exemplify like uh, the buddy aspect of an actual relationship in the film I would say that this film is a film why it's so high is because it's a blueprint for a lot of the other films that we've like seen today. Yeah, and that's my opinion there yeah, why it should be so high. Then yeah, I'm jumping on the same thing. As I said earlier, um 40 48 hours is the actual blueprint for all these type of cop buddy cop movies that is a criminal and a good guy but this time it's two police. I mean even though they all get it from the old Chinese movies that's where the original buddy so cop the, okay so the from, buddy uh, cop movies for Hollywood movies yeah is that does that help yes. right <laughs> <laughs> cool. comes from this. Out sometimes. yeah cool it's because you had what's it called again black they did everything to be different criminal cop um black white young old but in this one, is, I, as I said um, to Big Tom, the reason why we're going to put it on there, as good as that was, it's not, even though you're the first, you're not the best. But Beverly Hills Cop, they kind of did it again, even though he's a cop as well. He's the 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 cop that street was ben, ben, yeah, street smart cop compared to the the straight edge cop. No, not, not, not the punk one, but the straight edge cop. cop. And <laughs> the, what's it called again? The way they blend into it like you know the way it grew um it went from my number one just because eddie murphy is the goat when it comes to these type of movies and movies in general for me the black actor out there i know i know there's meant to be a lot bigger ones but eddie is the one i saw breaking ground this movie when it got made shouldn't have eddie in it for when it was it shouldn't have been eddie it should have been a someone else a different tone but Eddie was in it. He turned up, smashed it. The amount of lines you can get from it as well. And yeah, it just became, when we were making a list together, he had to be the number one on the list because we had to work it out. And we had it at, you had it at the highest point and I had it my highest point. It was none of our number ones originally, but because of our points, Mutual it just became number one. Ranking, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's but the way yeah, they bounce each other. other. Like then it's completely yeah. right. Yeah. And again, it takes Eddie... And like, I think Eddie works better when he has someone to bounce off. Like, look at some of his more, like, you know, funnier buddy movies, like Life and something. He, he's Eddie's the star, but again, he's bouncing off the next person that's standing beside him. And in this case, you have the stern, yeah. Yeah, the stern Tiger, and then you had Reinhold, did it? Yeah, his, like, innocence type of, like, thing he was going on. Taggart. It was a great mix. Are you saying Taggart? Taggart. Fucker. Oh, by the way, um, have you seen? If you haven't seen Axel F, I know y'all got a thing with um Netflix. 
actually, I think it's actually quite good. If you've I've seen, heard, I've heard of I watched, I watched, um, I did a day of it. I can't remember what day it was. I watched Beverly Hills Cop one, two, and three. Oh, please give three a skip. But I watched one, two, and three. <laughs> and I, I, like three. I like three. I like three. I like three. Okay. <laughs> I like three as well. Well, oh, horrible green screen. Eddie looking dead in the face. Just there for that extra bit of money because he's got an extra kid. Oh. There was some oh, funny parts in that film. Like, yes, come on, like, come on, horrible like, horrible shut up. And then he was just walking. I think, I think the Edward location, I think the location smashed it for me. Just being in, in like, that theme oh, park. Because oh, I just saw it appreciate the I've always never enjoyed Beverly Hills. I've never seen Beverly Hills Cop 2. And I've never okay. seen the end of Beverly Hills Cop 1. Oh, wow. Mm. Wow. Okay. I've, I've seen like the first hour of it. Loved it. Just never went back to it. Oh, but you good. see, fr- three has um, given me more humor than one in that sense. I found it very it slow is. building, number one. It became, three, it became, three became a comedy that was really terrible. Horrible oh, green screen. By the way, it was shot on Universal Studios. That's what they used. <laughs> if you watch Marvel, it's got three. You see you know, the train going and going, ah, oh, we were on that ride. <laughs> but yeah, it's really, really really if if you get a chance i said not to watch it again go ruin it for yourself go watch it again so you can stop saying that stupid thing you just said about it being not it's bad i might just, I just got to it because all week i got so, to, yeah. and, and the good part is you can watch it in one day because if you just have a full day they're all around 90 minutes 96 minutes they're really old school action style short get it to the point done Yes, I would so say the in, case in defense of um, Beverly Hills Cop 3, yes, it's not a, by any means a good movie. It doesn't even touch the other two. But it's a, another one of those guilty pleasure things. <laughs> now, whereas you two, <laughs> Silver Screen dudes, may not like like it, I would lump it in there with the type of Will Ferrell type comedy. So <laughs> take that for what you will. Oh, <laughs> so oh, they like and they like it. What's going on? Okay. What you got to see in the background okay. is Wolf. Wolf I actually, was always in this movie. I actually, um, agree with you, Big Tone. I think it's got that same level of stupidity that a Will Ferrell movie delivers. Um, but <laughs> it's elevated well. by the fact that the it's got someone it delivers in the lead role. Yeah, it actually delivers. That's the problem. It can deliver, whereas he's hey, just have Axel, again. If y'all got Netflix, give Axel Earth a chance. Have a watch it. I'm I'm not associated with those with, with those people. I did work with them though. But yeah, give it a chance. <laughs> Cool. Nick, the right. floor is yours. I'm shocked this wasn't on your list, guys. Um, Not even slightly big, for me. big tone, you especially, because I know you've got as much love for this as I do, brother. And it's three for the price of one. It's three different groups of buddies all together. Um, the second of the trilogy, Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. How? I, I don't how, see that as a buddy film. I, I see where you're how coming from. How not? How not? Sam, it is a buddy film, even, I Sam, like need, even I need to interject here, and I've not seen many of these films. It's about friends going for a walk. Yeah, like, that is literally the film. Yeah. I suppose. Speaking I suppose of friends going my... for a walk, we're stupid. None of us were putting "Stand by Me" in there. Yes. Now that a hundred percent, I was thinking oh, that. Talk about me. Was you know, we 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 do honorable, me. honorable mentions. Oh, we're both talking over each other. Sorry, go on, Big Tom. But yeah. No, hang on. Lord of the Rings. Leave Stand By Me alone. No one brought it to the party. <laughs> we, ju- we just all agree that it should have been mentioned. Frodo and Sam, I didn't. on a journey. Merry and Pippin, on a journey. Legolas, Aragorn, and Gimli, on a journey. This is like three buddy movies in one. <laughs> like, It's not my favorite of the trilogy, but it is a fantastic film. I think it's very almost fun for lack of a better word, to look at Lord of the Rings, you know, the epic goat movie that is Lord of the Rings trilogy as a buddy movie. But seriously, strip back what the point of a buddy movie is. It's all in the two towers. It's it, it it's friendship. It's need for a companion. It's going on some sort of adventure together. That's basically what we've described in all of our movies. It's all here. Oh, I'm ready to make that opinion. That's going to piss you off a bit. Actually, well, no, you already know. They won't, but you already know. I know, I know you don't like I'm it. I'm not a fan. I'm I not know, a fan. I, know, I, know. I tried. I, I mean, when I mean I tried, I tried so much to like this thing. And I keep repeating, I'm not a fantasy person. But I was like, 
why I fit the demographic of someone that should like this. I tried the books. I tried the movies. I tried, and I wa- I've watched all the movies. How I watched far, all the. Oh, anime. you've watched them all, yeah. I watch. I watch all the movies. I watched it all the way through. I've been invited to house to watch the whatever cut it's called, which is just a Extended long, long version. And I was like, oh, I can come, but I won't pay attention as much because watching it with someone that wants you to watch it, and it's been so it's so long. They're not looking at it. They're looking at you two. Here comes a part to react to, and I'm like, why do you not look happy? Because it's gonna walk some more. It's not about that. And I'm like, I don't want to disrespect you, but I just don't. I don't know why I don't like it, but I just don't. Yeah. And I've tried. It doesn't make sense why it doesn't fit in for my taste. But anyway, I, I can't get into it. I would love to. I haven't never been watched it. He's at least watched it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was in the cinema for two towers. I've watched the first one and I've tried The Hobbit. So I've tried different parts of the franchise as well, but still cannot get into it. I have watched one. Fellowship of the Ring. I have actually watched Fellowship of the Ring and The Hobbit. And you didn't like it. it. I couldn't get into it. It just drags. How how Legitimate. far? The first 20 minutes are a drag. If It's very no, high fantasy. I appreciate minutes, that. I, I, I started, I was like, okay, I see what we're doing. Then it just starts to go on. And I'm like, what, what it is, my biggest thing is I'm trying to keep up. And I'm like, well, what's going on? I don't know if my mind focuses on something else or what have you. There are parts where I'm just like... I'm drifting and now I'm watching just for watching purpose when I really want to be deep into this film. I, listen, I might have to give it another TikTok shot. TikTok has rotted Ooh. all of our minds, I tell you. Oh, no, 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 no. This is way before TikTok. <laughs> but I give this, I give this, um, AJ, try reading the book. The first parts of the book, you're just describing what a tree is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, tree. bro. I'll I'll be real. You had you. to I, if it wasn't I, for you. I've I've read the book so many times, and I will completely agree with what you've said. You, Those first three chapters are a flubbing drag. You're the reason why I got so far in the book because you kept saying, "Wait till you get to this part," and I went past that part, and I was like, "You need to get out the Shire." Then it. Picks okay, up. I got out the Shire. I got to those again when they you got to Bree. I got to Bree. I got when they met that guy, Dimly. What's his name? The singing guy. Nah, see, is that where you stopped? Yeah. <laughs> it's still in the Shire, bruv. That's not the Shire. Yes, it is. The Old Forest, the Barrow Downs, and Tom Bombadil, it's all Shire. How big is the Shire? Dead. Jesus big. Dead. Get dead. It's like London. You just left Southwest, bro. There's still... You still yeah. got to do. <laughs> bruv, you ain't even reached Croydon yet. Uh, no, no, no let's turn there. back before I get there. <laughs> turn back, please. <laughs> please, no stabbing. <laughs> no, no, no. no. You turn back the moment DLR. you get to Bree, the moment you get to Bree, and Aragorn shows up, and the Nazgul start doing their thing, it's just like boom, 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 boom. It's Whoa. epic. But but I'm let me ask to... um, you, you, you two a question, innit? Are you into those type of high fantasy films? Because really, this is going to determine whether you can stick with the whole of trilogy. And okay. it is high fantasy, gentlemen. <laughs> Both of you. Here's the thing. I enjoy fantasy for better or worse. Like, if you ever tell me a story where my mind can escape, I will take on your law and I will go with it. Now, weirdly enough, I was aware that Warcraft was a cheap... I, I hate saying this online because the, the backfire is ridiculous. But I'm aware that Warcraft was a cheap man's Lord of the Rings. However, I could follow the story and was able to enjoy it, even though I knew it was a subpar version of lord of the rings um no offense to warcraft fans when i say that i then tried to go back to lord of the rings but still felt it dragged so by proxy warcraft has won in terms of my viewership Hmm. but i really want to just i'm not a hype man i don't care for the hype because again look at half of the stuff that's going on with will ferrell i'm not on it (laughs) for what it is but what i would like to do is when i see this stuff but then again i'm it's weird because as much as i appreciate fantasy I'm more Trek, well, I'm more sci-fi going Trek than I am on the fantasy of Star Wars. You know, I I, I can watch it, but it doesn't rock my world. I I think I came in too late. I think I came in way too late. The hype of these names that I've heard just don't bang for me. And I I did enjoy The Two Towers. I'll I'll give it that. When I was in the cinema, I did enjoy The Two Towers. But going back to get the back origin, the origin story of it, bored the crap out of me. Fact. What about you, Dan? For me, as I stated several times, I'm not a fantasy guy. I'm a sci-fi fan. 
my only two fantasy things I can watch is Star Wars and Harry Potter. Harry Potter is because I took my little cousin to, w- to watch all the movies. We started reading the books together and everything like that. So I fell into it. Star Wars, I was a little, the little guy that was watching all them stuff like that. Um, give it, a, be honest with you, Lord of the Rings, when it was coming out in the cinema every year, I was at the cinema first day with everyone watching it. Visually beautiful movie. Story does drag, but when you're in a cinema with a bunch of people that's in that same vibe, it's actually good. So it was good for me mm. when I watched it then. I did like it up until the last one. That just wouldn't end. And yes, I know the book has m- many ending as well. So that was like, it threw it for me. Um, so much so that I watched it again at, with someone else on, what's it called again, DVD. And it was just like, oh, uh, this, I realized it's the company I'm around. Like, you know, watching like watching stand-up comedy on your own compared to watching stand-up comedy with a group. That's what it was like for me. So the hype that everyone has for this film, I give them props because you found something that is beautiful to look at. And if you like the story, it's going to elevate it. It didn't work for me. Yeah. But I get it. I'm for one me, of the odd, um, ones. I'm an odd is... one out in this case as well well you're not you're making up 50 in the world the demographic the world. oh in the world yeah i yeah. mean look there's there's a reason that they're 17 oscars w- w- 12 yeah but yeah it, it 12, is, sorry, 12. A, yeah three movies 12 <laughs> if you put if you put stock in the oscars which i do they are the most successful films of all time um if you're a fan as you said of really really grandiose visual storytelling i think it's very very hard to not bring this film to any conversation and it, 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 the themes in it are timeless you know good versus evil it, it's all that traditional hokey pokey stuff that just it, it's 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 timeless and I thought the characters were great the acting performances were great i can't find fault in this movie even those multiple endings that people talk about i look at that and go well you had nine main characters. They didn't even all get a proper ending. Aragorn got his ending. Frodo got his ending. Sam got his ending. That's kind of it. But the they, ring they got all... his ending. <laughs> Gollum got his ending. <laughs> Same thing, but yeah. I oh, know. Um, like I, I these, these, these multiple endings really like. Again, I'm a very, very much a purist when it comes to the books. And I'm like, y'all didn't see what really happened to Saruman. Like, there was some length to Don't that. Don't spoil it. Ending. Don't spoil it. No, 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 no. I'm no, going to no, say no, this no, thing. No, I won't. I've got... That ending there is in a... the film is not the ending. That's all I'll so, say. Like, there's a whole I... chunk of stuff they left out. I said I've tried the books. I've tried. I've seen the movies. There's this other thing called Audible. So yeah. I've got a lot of tokens, Go and I've actually I've got no, I've already got all three. I've downloaded um downloaded the books. I am not going to have it Hobbit because that's too short. That's a really small book. Yeah. So Hobbit's I'm a great read, for, very easy, very it's easy. Really, to read. It's, it's too short for the token. I might as well wait and buy that properly with money. But yeah. Yeah. um, what's it called again? I'm going for all three. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another shot. But this time oh. I can just listen to it so I can work. And right now I'm going through the period of finishing up my work I'm at right now. So that can be in the background while I'm typing. And I can hear what tree braid, what, why tree braid, tree beard is tree beard. Cause this guy's going to explain and explain why elfish languages and everything like that. Cause my God, this guy was a nerd. I call myself a nerd. Well, what's his name again? The, the writer? Tolkien. Yeah, yeah. John, Tolkin. Uh, John uh, Ro- uh, Ronald Reagan Tolkien. But you've got to remember one thing, right? It's not so much that he was a nerd. He was a linguistics professor. So it, he was a nerd in the sense that he liked inventing languages, um, which is why... I mean, Elvish is essentially just a mixture of Gaelic and Celtic. That's all it is. Like, he hasn't reinvented the wheel. He didn't just make stuff up. But he looked at real old dead languages. Well, Celtic dead, Gaelic not so much. And kind of reappropriated them and imagined the world the reason lord of the rings for me at least works so well is that it it almost feels like history it's kind of adjacent history you know it's like Mm. he's he's written it and the reason he went into such detail is because he wanted to create a world that you could almost believe once upon a time could have been something that would have been in our world you know the way that they speak it's shakespearean 
but not full Shakespeare. You know, the way that the the different uh, races have got very clearly defined cultures. I mean, the Rohirrim are freaking Vikings. That's all they are. Mm-hmm. Like, he's he's borrowed real cultures and reappropriated them. Got to remember, while fighting in the war, like, this was escapism mm-hmm. for him, and then he went on to fight it later. There's so many layers to his work that... Again, if you're not a, a mega geek or mega fan, might be like, well, whatever. It's just a guy nerding out a language. It's like, it's one way of looking at it, sure. But uh, personally, I think you're you're missing it. You're doing yourself a disservice by not seeing the full picture of what he was trying to do. But I also get why people can't commit the time so to understand time. it. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. It, it, is, it is a heavy well, time. It's nine. It's nine hours of three film. <laughs> Uh, 12 no, if you do it properly. That. It's 12 if you do it properly. Oh, my properly. God. Oh, my God. That's yeah, going so back to the whole it's, aspect of this whole this entire show. Every Christmas I, I do agree with, with what you're saying, Nico. Um, it, along, along the lines of the whole buddy friendship, this is actually a film with um one of the greatest like, examples of, you know, unity and friends and having your yeah. friends back and Sam, be going back the for these friends. And, like, even people just meeting each other and forming a bond. Like, even yeah. at the end of the first film, where they're like, yo, we're not going to abandon these guys, is it? Even though we haven't known them, like, we're not going to abandon them to torment. We're going to go get them. Yeah, we'll there, there's examples of friendship. There, there's a, a sample of, like, um, coming together. There's a sample of coming back for your buddy or mm-hmm. throughout the film. So I can see, like, um, why you would pick this. The only reason why I it's not on my list, per se, is because... There's so much happening in this film. This film can be so many different films. Of course it so, can. And so yes. many different lists. That's why I didn't even really consider it for the buddy list, yeah. But again, it's a good example, I'd say. Well, all right, and great, great, great film, but could everyone give us a special, like you made a m- mention earlier with um, Stand By Me. Anyone got something you could think of that didn't make a list, but now that we were talking, you're like, oh, what about that? Earlier today at work, I asked someone, give us a buddy movie. And she went instantly, I'm... Thelma and Louise. Thelma and yeah, Louise. Yeah, great. Didn't show. even jump my brain. I was like, my mind, but I just didn't know oh. where to put it. Um, the Breakfast God, Club. The Breakfast Club. Oh. Look, again, I said it, it was in the list, but it's there. If you go down the comic book route, you've obviously got the Guardians of the Galaxy. Look. The whole Fast and Furious franchise is family which is obviously don't forget, don't forget, love don't forget. your picks AJ. it's very in, on on brand and, and here's one for you power oh, rangers <laughs> oh, listen, I, i'll put it there when it comes to buddy timon and pumba like it, it's, it's really yeah we said it liking as well i get i get when i put his face on that i give you one <laughs> dude where's my car <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, there's big, a lot of them. There's Harold and Kuma, Bill and Ted. How many the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles? Wayne's World. Wayne's World. That's, that's on my. That's that was on my list. Was, I'm surprised you guys didn't have um, House Party. Oh, really guys, house party Shrek. Been, like, oh yeah, that was Shrek, on my list Shrek, as well. Donkey, Stir donkey, Crazy was man. on my list. Stir Crazy was on there. Twenty One Jump Street was on Ben's list. <laughs> what about what about is is going Toy back Story. to a bit of 90s nostalgia? How about Clueless? Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah. Like me again. That, yeah. That's all the yeah, whole actually, BFF yeah. thing comes for, from. So. Yeah, I say Minga. You're going. You're going. You could Minga. Uh, he's, yeah, Mean Girls. That, yeah, Mean Girls could work. I, I, ask a question. I had Shawshank on there because. Yeah, Shawshank would work. It's really Shawshank's about them too. Good. So but I was like, no, nah, I can't really have that on there. Let me see what else has got there. Do I'm you, looking at my oldest. list. Do you, know, do you know who nearly made the Rocky list? Rocky 4. Nick, you would have liked Rocky, no, Rocky two, um, no Rocky, Michael Rocky Clark three, Duncan. Michael Clark. I nearly done Michael Clark Duncan in the mouth in Green Mile. Oh, Ooh, Shang- oh. Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights. I mean, Cast the one away. I, the one Cast I wanted away, to bring Tom Cruise on the board. Cruise Good call. I, I would have loved that. Tom That's a great shout. Great. Um, the one I wanted to bring to the party, but I mean, AJ rebuttaled it on the basis they were brother and sister. My kind of stance on it was the fact that they go through essentially a buddy cop or buddy at least adventure together, and that's Grave of the Fireflies. I've never seen it. you are still seen not really. seeing that, man. I bring it no, up all the time on pod. That. Please watch it. Please, oh, please. It's 90 minutes. It's an animation. It's Ooh, Japanese. Nick, it's freaking incredible. 
It's just hit me now. Go on. What? Latin. Oof. Latin. La- hey, American History X. Yeah. Is that a buddy? Yeah, well, again, yeah. they're brothers, though. But yeah. But, but let me ask you a question, though, guys. Even the, the prison friendship. Can, can we still say like um, these are like the top buddy films if they have a theme that is sort of overriding the buddy aspect of the movie? Yeah. So my counter to that would be you're you're limiting yourself to. No, I'm, I'm asking. I'm asking. Well, look, let's take Jaws, for example. It's very far removed from being a buddy cop movie, but it's essentially at its core about a group of three guys who go fishing together. That has to be included in the conversation, mm-hmm. surely. Mm-hmm. Like it's it's yeah. literally if you took the shark out of this and put these three guys on the boat, it's still very, very much similar end result. They're fishing, they're trading stories, war stories. Stories about the big city, stories about how they were raised. Like, it's three men chatting on a boat and becoming close over it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reason why I ask this is because I'm just thinking, like, there's films like um, Pulp Fiction, there's films like Lord of the Rings, like, uh, that was on our list. Even uh, Beverly Hills Cup, yeah, which is more of a, you know, it's a buddy cup film. Is it? right for us to put like, I'm not saying any of our lists are wrong because they're all subjective I'm just mm. saying though is it right for us to put them on these lists when there are films that are actually about friendship more sort of a stand by me yeah that y'all are angry we didn't think of stand it. by me huh? I can feel it too no 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 I was thinking about it like um, when we was um, actually well. I'm upset that wasn't on my list on yeah my but list. that's good that's a good pick but I'm just saying it that form more on buddy's friendship Rather than even something like, um, like you know, Beverly Hills Cup in it, yeah, because it's literally about. But then, how do you how do you argue it's just the, the rings then? The future. Shit. Say again. Future. Back to the future. Yeah, Talking that's Martin. a good one. That's Bill and Ted. Movie. Oh, good Damn. one. Damn. Damn, that's a good one. But then, how do you argue? But to your point, Big Turn, how would you argue against Lord of the Rings in the scope of what the you've proper, just said? Proper friendship thing, man. We're yeah. willing to die for his friend. He put him on his back and walked the rest of the mountain. Because yeah. if you yeah. can't walk and I can't 100%. get a ring, but I can carry you, sir. Hundred <laughs> percent. Like I said, like uh, again, I I think it's a good pick, but I'm just saying, as terms of a list, like um, that friendship aspect. I wouldn't say that's the number one aspect of that film, but Oof, may, fuck, may, I, may, I, I would. would. Do you know what it is? That is? Is that I think when you use I think when you use the term buddy, you instantly go down the buddy cop route. Yeah. If you use the word friendship, friendship, friendship. a film about friendship, or a, 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 yeah, special friend, <laughs> then you start to take it to a different level. Because when you do buddy, you instantly go down your buddy cop route, and it's easy. The two guys, one hated the other, then by the end of the film, they're the best of friends. Screw me, you can throw Wild Wild West in there if you really wanted to. However, when you start no, to look no, once again, at uh, well, when, no you, people. when you start to look at a deeper level, like let's take okay, stand by me is kind of yeah, that is a friendship. Oh, but when you start to look at other stuff, let, let's go down, let's go down the Breakfast Club route, which was brought up. Very unconventional. These were people from different cliques who are throughout, all on the same detention, who have built a friendship and understanding within them. That's as buddy as it gets. You know that American that, that. pie. <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> I actually did think of it, but I thought we brought it up too much. Nah, I didn't think <laughs> Sorry, just cut you off right there. Just... <laughs> yeah. No, but this is the thing. Now, without seeing Lord of the Rings, that bond. Okay, I mean, granted, one could say three hundred could go in there. And now no, we're reaching a no. bit. No, who's your buddy with that, the hunchback? Those aren't buddies. That's an, they're, they're not buddies. That's army. an army. No, two characters. Yeah. It's brothers and arms. No, 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 there were bonds in there. There stretching. were certain people when they fell, you're like, damn. No, I'm you not You are that stretching one. so much, you're I touching part Saving of Private Ryan half is a Lord buddy movie, movie, then. Huh? Then Saving Private Ryan is any <laughs> war movie you can put in there. No, what? with that one, I'm sorry, AJ, I'm not giving you that one. 300, tap that out. I'm not no. not so much in the thing. I'm saying it depends, there are stretches in it, but I'm saying you have your elements where you will find a common ground. If it is just on the basis of war, no, naturally it's not gonna it's not gonna work. 
but the elements where you take something like Shawshank, that is definitely a buddy movie. You know? Shawshank's a great shot. You, mm-hmm. you, there are other films in there where you are going to get it. I think it's when you call it buddy, you are going to go down the instant one guy, two guy, dare I say, even hangover. Well, because I- buddy movies isn't a, the reason we're doing that, guys, is because buddy movies isn't actually a genre of movie, whereas mm. buddy cop movie cop is movie. a genre of movie. So we're actually getting a little bit muddied by the traditional term of when one uses the word buddy because it's buddy. very, very intrinsic with buddy cop if we remember the purpose of compiling this list was to kind of honor and have fun of deadpool and wolverine which means it's kind of open season you can have some fun with this i think ultimately what we're trying to do is it can be people who are reluctant friends people who are lifelong friends you know reluctant friends you could go with the breakfast club you know establishing friends you could go with stand by me um you could go with you know you could go with acquaintances who end up being buddies like in pulp fiction those two guys aren't friends you could go the reluctant friends you've got in jaws um lifelong friends you've got in butch cassidy like if you want to have fun with this just remember what brought us to the table in the first place which was life remember the deadpool and wolverine is what brought us to the table in the first place here and kind of frame this around that all right my number one for body movies, Venom. <laughs> I nearly brought that up, but they are one. No, of it's not. I'm digging a bit. No, they're not. The two separate characters saying, yeah. in the movie. Let's not go there. It's uh, not the but body he movie. says not we there. are Venom. Yeah, they, they, they are. Yeah, what because there's they're, they're such good bodies <laughs> that I'm like thinking of as individual. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, are we gonna do a a Rushmore, or we're just gonna leave it as this? Well, I'm, I'm, happy, I'm happy to do a rush more. But look, Friday's in. Die Hard uh, with Vengeance is in. Hangover. Hangover. I'm just saying there's two but in because they're... Oh, they're because you put them together. The common right, ones. Um, I'm yeah. very angry about Friday being in there, but fine. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, so we need a, we need a, a thing then. Um, but, hangover, does everyone agree with Hangover? I'm fine with putting the Hangover in there if Please give me Jaws. Like, seriously? Like... Yeah, so we're going to Dumb and Dumb, all right? Dumb and Dumb, everybody. <laughs> just a, I'm just a bastard, sorry. But the thing, Dumb and Dumb is a good shout. There's a lot of movies in but here it, that it, are a I good think, shout. I think. All right, let's, take, let's take Friday out because of the, the dislike of Fred. We love it. And our love for it can't overpower the dislike someone else has of it. Yes, it can. So, <laughs> so no, no, we, no, since we're not going to get, since we know we're not going to give him jaws, because yeah, yeah, no, we just take out Friday, so he doesn't get what he gets, but we lose what we don't want. What we want. All right, can, let's can, try and get, get four films that we all like agree on together. Then, Dumb and Dumber, because we all started quoting that. But then you okay. get two comedies, Dumb and Dumber and The Hangover. It doesn't matter. Say, doesn't matter. I, well, it does. Okay. Pick, pick one. If we're going to show so a lot wait. of variety. Hmm. All right, then, who's in Roger Rabbit, then, if you want to think? I know it's a comedy, yeah. but it's animated. Yeah, but yeah, it But it falls within the... AJ wants to get Let the Right One in in there. Watch. No, no, no. Actually, I didn't even think of it, but it would actually fit because it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a horror. Um, what I was going to say about Who in Roger Rabbit and Die Hard with a Vengeance is that they both fall within the buddy cop territory, so it'd be two very similar, even though I appreciate the animation side of it. That's what's throwing me off. All right, then let's just be random. I put um, Toy Story, um, Stand by Me. <laughs> I saw the ones what, we missed in there. Four of us. Everyone pick one pick movie one. that they want to be. Yeah, in. all right. That's that's a good shot. That's actually really good. Um, that's, his of, that's his way of getting Jaws in. You realize that? Jaws. Yes. Hey, it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. J- Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <That's his fault. laughs> when are you not uh, say uh, Friday? Uh, Dumb and Dumber. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna do like the right one in because it's a it's a horror. There's no other one on it. All right, well I'm picking Friday then. Brother, <laughs> are you for real? Wow. There you go. All right then. You know what? Are you doing Friday. it just you can for have or you really think Friday should be in? <laughs> Actually, uh, Friday. Yeah, really I think Friday should be in there. Hold on, hold on. I've got really? a really Nick. Before you answer though, and I know you really want to put Jaws in there. No, Samuel like Jackson, I, I Samuel Jackson's in now. twice, and neither of those. <laughs> We're gonna make it. Both, mm. both mm. deserve to be, both. At least one of them should be in there. Where's Samuel Jackson in twice? I, I, 
I just leave it on that. He's in Friday. Die Hard with Revenge. Is he in Friday? Fri- uh, he, no, he's in Die Hard. Die Hard who picked Die Hard? Oh, no, that's no, Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Sorry. No one pick, no one's wait, picked I picked Dumber and Dumber. Dumber. No one's picked yeah. one pick Friday. Friday. Yeah. But then pick it. Oh, I've gone with the one bad. But then pick Die Hard with a Vengeance if you want it so bad. I'm just showing diversity. I am by having a black guy in there. <laughs> I've taken <laughs> the one for the foreign film, the foreign film, the water film. The black film and the dumb film. The shark oh, film. Man, like, I, I appreciate that. Like, you know what's mad? Have we actually got a buddy cop movie in there? Nope. No. Well, that's I why mean, I thought the Revengeance would be the winner. No, but I actually like the fact that we've done a buddy list without having to use a buddy cop. Thank movie. you. I, I was about think to say that's that as good. Well. I'm the one that's ruining it by picking a comedy. I know you got Friday as a comedy. Well, it's just a situation. Nah, um, like, I think Dumb and Dumb is a great shout for a buddy movie. I don't think you're ruining anything. I Friday in there. Like, it's, it's a personal beef I can get over, but it's okay, like... Okay, if someone changes their mind, I'm, I'm going to change it to pick a Friday. So I'm, Friday's I'm, going in the I'm, I'm, oh, I get it, but I, I'm just looking at some of the things you brought to the party, and it's like, oh, uh, really? Okay, fine. Cool. With that. Like, we're, all, we're doing it where we all picked a film, then we're going to pick what we like. We can try and yeah. do it where yeah, we all I, I'm agree questioning on the film. if you're doing it for banter or if it's because of all the movies, Friday's your one. <laughs> Honestly, Friday's up there for me. Friday's really up there for me as well. My... Honestly, yeah, it was a yeah, number six for you. Two so other Friday there. films out there. Yeah, but it's two people. So that makes it 12. Like, what's your point? Everyone no, it's two people. We our number adjusted. One had it higher than the other. Who had it lower out of curiosity? Of course, then I did. <laughs> Fair play. Not this, not this, not disrespect to the movie. It's just the fact that the list we had, well, the list I had, as great as it is in my yeah. eyes, I couldn't put it higher. Yeah. There's movies that's not on this list that should be on this list. We just spoke about that. That I think, like Ted, I really love Ted, <laughs> but I could never justify it. We go, yeah, my top ten. That's fine. Listen, that's how you want to roll with this. That we can, we can do that. That's fine by me. Um. So who's going to pause and who's going to roll? <clears throat> AJ, can uh, do you want me to do the banging? Have you got all the all the all of them down? To be fair, I I don't even know where we're at at the moment. I know, yeah, actually, I we're don't. At, is your actual we're final at Jaws, is your final Dumber and Dumber. Is your final call actually Jaws? I'm still thinking. Deep down, I don't. <laughs> it's strange. Not, you want to do that hard. <laughs> I didn't go for Friday... fiction. Listen, this is my second favorite Ooh, yeah. movie of all time, and that is can that is muddying the waters a bit for me. Yeah, but even do you know what? Even to a degree, even if I heard you say two towers, you've just shown three flipping friendships in there. And again, even if someone went for the hangover because it's a trio, there, there's many arguments to it. I just don't see that Jaws to be the standout of friendship. Out of all the films that's there, it just doesn't ring to me. No, the, the shark loved them so much, all he wanted to do was give them a big kiss. He wanted to kiss his friends <laughs> with a <his> teat. <laughs> What's the name of the movie that you want in again, um, AJ? Me, AJ, the name right of the movie you want in? Let the right, Let one, the in. right one in. Cool. Let the right comma in. Let the right uh, one in. Yeah. Are you still doing the Twitter so, polls? Oh, wait, wait, wait. That will get killed on the Twitter polls, don't you? Ooh. Which one? Let the right one in. Ooh, and Jaws, is, Jaws, Jaws is going to be everything if it goes. Um, no, it be, but maybe it, it won't. What we Dumb doing? Dumb win. Do you want to bet? Dumb and Dumb will win. Do you yeah. want to bet? All right, Five cool. Jaws, cool. Jaws is going in. Um, he Six. don't know what we know, AJ. I almost feel like it's unfair. Oh, I watch your show. That's no, all good. I watch your show. Dumb and Dumb. Yeah, all right. we forgot what we do in the shadows. By the way. <laughs> are you changing? Shout. No, 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 no. That's not on anyone's list. No, That's honorable here. honorable mentions when we mentioned honorable all the mention. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh we're doing the shadows the TV the movie the movie. Yeah, I yeah it's a TV show. I I both both are fantastic, by the way. The TV <laughs> show is amazing. 
Um, all right, cool. Let's do it, ladies and gentlemen. The official movie Mount Rushmore of buddy movies, no cops, in no particular order, is. AJ? Uh, yeah. So I was remembering the films now. Um, Friday. Our second entry is. Dumb and Dumber. Our third entry is. Let the right one in. The final movie. Come on. What is it? Do it now. <laughs> Frozen. <laughs> you should have tapped it to the beat of Jaws. Disappointed that. Damn, 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 Jaws. damn! Come on! <laughs> I told you, scream froze. That's why I was laughing. <laughs> All right, so yeah, cool. So Hola. we made a, um, right. a Mount Rushmore with right, Jaws guys. and Friday right next to each other. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> the madness of the Rushmore. <laughs> Do you know what? Great you guys. Do you know what we should do? If anyone uses their thing actively, and this would guarantee it as a win, just retweet the post and just put hashtag Black Twitter, and then we'll see who gets the most votes for. <laughs> oh, I, <there's, laughs> because of the amount of messages that Leon sends me, Black Twitter has become very, very, very close to my Instagram algorithm now. Wow, <laughs> I've seen some wait, stuff. Wait. You read the messages? <laughs> <laughs> do you know what? In a weird way, I'm glad I do because I've discovered some outlandish stuff that's actually to be, quite to funny. be spoken of once we press end recorded. Yeah, I'm yeah. not allowed to. I'm not allowed to speak about this now. So is let's. Is it what the hell adventures on us? No, it's very, it's, it's, very, it's very funny. Although I have decided oh, that Leon is officially a crazy cat lady in male form. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right let's end this <laughs> yeah all right, all right AJ, take us home as always thank you for the support do look for the silver screen dudes on most of your um podcast platforms and we are available on youtube every week so give us a thumbs up like comment and subscribe and do look at oh good stuff oh, for the tv reviews as well as the film reviews done by this gentleman down there down there and yeah it, it's always a pleasure guys big tone then thank you guys you showed what buddies are all about and guys enjoy deadpool and wolverine because this is what it's all about so until the next time yeah. i'm the one aj I'll watch you tomorrow i'm nicolero um, i'm not for anyone else and i'm big tone okay, cool. out the zone we out right, guys. guys we out see ya see ya and you press the bin right <laughs> <laughs>